if, if we have a little bit more equipment, I mean, all of us, how we can technically run every single microphone to its own audio mixer and then use the lower as needed. like sunset and it oh, just got to yeah, the point where it's it's going to the the slots in my You're blinds very loud nick and my headphones now since you were playing <laughs> oh i'm so sorry let me lower it <laughs> dare, nick. pay attention to me and my game is like all the way down because this device picks up a head <laughs> This is why we call check-in early. Yep. Yeah. It's not for real. What's well, not working? It is working. Yeah. Ashley, I say one, you say two. Okay, why is the end two? Great. I'm just checking and making sure you're all okay. Ah! Ian, I'm, I'm moving my screens. Ignore me. You had my call, Ian. You're messing up my brains. You're all okay. Okay, you're all good? Yeah, we're okay. Alright, drop it back out. Sorry, bye. Bye. <laughs>
I know, it, it, it just, it always... <laughs> it always <laughs> hell, so it always... Not how the theater works. Keep them waiting. Restreaming. I just have to get ahead of gaming starting soon, though, with the sound. Okay, uh, Ian can hear our audio. Really? Nice. So, hey, uh, just mute desktop locks on OBS.
And here's audio too. Welcome everyone to Monster Heart Mondays. Monster Hearts Monday. We have to make sure that the hearts part is plural and the monster part is singular. I am Brian, your MC, and we are going to have a great session zero tonight as we begin our very first session. Uh, that's what we mean by session zero. We're going to do all of our setup live in front of you, and we might even do a scene or two if we have time. We'll see. I want to jump into some explanations, and then we're going to get to know our players. First things first, I want to thank our host, Gehenna Games. Gehenna Gaming is a New England-based tabletop RPG gr gaming group dedicated to providing unique gaming experiences for fans of horror RPGs, and even if we're a little romancy with our horror, they let us play here too. We're big, big fans of them. So happy to be here with them. You can, of course, check out their full schedule of shows down below us here. There's also lots of cool links and stuff. Yeah, open in a new tab, browse around, listen to me talk anyway. It'll be a good time for everyone. I want to let everyone know that we really are here playing a game. So we are going to play that game while we are hoping that you will be entertained by that. Uh, it's a game first, and we want you to see how we play. And we want you to know how the game is played. So we hope you're entertained by that, and we're going to try to... Uh, do less office outtakes uh, and more playing an actual game for your entertainment. And as the MC, I have the Twitch chat up here on my phone so I can see all the lovely things y'all are saying tonight. Since we are going to do some setup and some building, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to watch that chat, and there are going to be times tonight that I will take suggestions straight from you as we're building. Now that is generally not going to be the case as we're playing through the other sessions, so this is your time to really make your mark on our town of Gehenna Valley. Now that you've heard from me, I want to kick it off to our players. We're going to go through one at a time and give them a chance to introduce themselves. Natalie, would you go first for me? Hi, I'm Natalie Putum. I am one half of Charm Person Game, the Game Master for Hire service out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Natalie underscore 20. Nice. Not and to interrupt too quickly, but we are still showing promo image. What? Oh my gosh, we are! No. It's okay, watch this. Watch this, everybody. You ready for the promo image? It's gonna disappear. What? Oh, I hit the Magic. button. Now you can see our faces. Hey. Isn't that incredible? Good. Thank you, Rob. Amazing. And it's uh, what an amazing segue. As Rob, you're up next. Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Pontius. I'm Silent Infinity on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I play with No Direction and Roll for Combat and Order of the Ember Die, and I'll be playing Donovan the Vampire. Woo! Love that. Love you. Love Donovan. I love all these things. Uh, Stephanie, why don't you tell us who you are? Hi, I'm Stephanie Allen. I am the other half of Charm Person Games. Again, we're a queer women-owned game master for hire service based out of Baltimore. Uh, I don't have a personal social media, but you can still reach me at Charm Person Game, singular because of character limits, on Twitter. Ooh. And we're also on Facebook and charmpersongames.com. Great. And then we have Ashley. Hey, everyone. I'm Ashley, or Aid. I, uh, you can find me on Twitter at at aid3e um i play a lot of games i that's all i do i don't have anything <laughs> fancy about me but i'm here to play wolf the mortal so Fantastic. i hope you guys enjoy oh i love it and finally we have Kay. so i'm k last but not least i have a twitter handle at r-p-e-r-g-i-r-l-1-2-3-9-7 like aid i just like to play a lot of games and today i will be playing Aurelius Ananias Cordero Castile V, but you Ooh. can call him Cory the Infernal. Nice. And I am, of course, M. Brian LeBurge. I am your MC for this season of Monster Hearts. I am a game designer, but this is not my game. You can go ahead and drop my name into, I don't know, Google or 
drive through RPG and find all the other stuff that I worked on. Uh, yeah, you know, if you feel like it. Otherwise, just have fun with us here while we uh, play Monster Hearts. I want to talk about what Monster Hearts is, since this is the big Session Zero. Monster Hearts uh, 2, specifically, is what we're playing tonight. Not 1, but 2. Uh, <laughs> by Avery Alder. It's the game about the messy lives of teenagers who just happen to be monsters. It's all about your complicated, ever-shifting emotions. Our characters are going to have to flirt, fight, insult, promise in order to get what they want. You're going to watch our players work at relationships, work with their family, stare into the darkness of the ever-reaching void, all, all for fun. It's going to be a great time. A lot of the big themes in here are sort of the allegorical nature of monsters to people. Uh, there's a lot of terror and confusion. There are changes that are beyond your control, alienation, shame, queerness, destruction, the uncertainty of desire. Oh my goodness, can I sell this game any more to you? Obviously, you're already either own it or you're buying it right now on Avery Alder's site, Buried Without Ceremony, not sponsored. Just, you know, that's a great place to buy something is from the creator. <laughs> Love it when you give money to creators here at Gehenna Games. There are four big things that we all strive to do when we're playing Monster Hearts. Monster Hearts calls this the agenda, and it's not just my agenda, it's the agenda of everyone here at the table. First things first, we're going to make sure we make each main character's life not boring. We're going to make choices that are not necessarily safe. We're going to keep things interesting. We're going to make sure that we are having a good time. We're going to keep the story feral. That's number two, agenda item number two. That means that we're trying to try not to plan out all of our personal lives and little tiny agenda items. We're going to act on instinct. We're not going to be afraid to play in the moment and make bad choices. We're going to say what the rules demand. The rules are there for a reason in this game. We're going to use the rules and uh, we're going to figure out what happens because of the rules. And we are going to say what honesty demands. This is not a game where the players keep secrets from each other. We're all storytellers when we play Monster Hearts. We talk about our backstories. We talk about what we're thinking. Everyone sort of knows and we're being uh, we're being honest and we're being open with each other. Um, we're also being honest and open about what we're uncomfortable with. The whole group here has uh, had a talk uh, ahead of time about what some of our personal uh, boundaries are. Uh, things that we want to make sure are in place to keep things a safe game. I'm not going to go through all of those with you guys because you don't need to know about my childhood trauma. I'm sure that'll come out on Twitter if you can follow me right above. But I will talk about the two safety tools we're using because you might see them come up and we don't want anyone to be afraid to use them. These are tools for our players. If you experience anything troubling, I'm not going to feel bad if you if you close Twitch for a little while, maybe come back later. But uh, these are the things that our players have in order to keep things in control, to keep the game safe and fun. The first one is Fade to Black. Fade to Black is a tool you'll find right in the Monster Hearts 2 book. Essentially, at any point in time, whether you are in the scene or not, our players can say, Fade to Black. If somebody says Fade to Black, we're not going to talk about why we're fading to black. We're not going to try to justify it in any way. We're just going to move forward onto the next scene. I, as the MC, might ask like one or two very specific questions that I have uh, already talked to the players ahead about just to make sure the mechanics flow properly. But that's the only thing that'll happen. Uh, the other tool we have is cut. If we say cut or time out, uh, that means we're going to stop and we're going to talk about something. We might end up fading to black, uh, or we might continue. We might do this live, but we also re uh, reserve the uh, ability to go to break and have everyone remind me to cut the audio when we do so. 
uh, so that we can talk about something off screen. Um, and uh, no one's gonna, no one's gonna, don't worry about that, okay? It's a, it's it's not a, it's not a thing against you. It's a thing against me mostly. Okay, blame it on me. Don't blame yourself. Those are our two big things. Uh, and why 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 might we what might we use those? Well, besides what I already said, uh, there is uh no, that's a bad transition. Ignore ignore that transition. You already got the why. You don't need any more why. But there's a couple other things that are a bit uncomfortable sometimes that I need to cover. All right, but we don't need to tie them directly like that because they're not actually tied directly like that. Okay, get that thought out of your head. First things first, there are sex moves in this game. Literally, a piece of paper that is your character sheet has a little box on it and it says sex move. If that's not the most exciting thing I've seen all day, then I probably have a pretty good life uh, because the sex move is purely mechanical. It is something that happens if you have sex in character, uh, much like if I was playing a traditional uh, fantasy magic game, there are mechanics for hitting you with a stick. In this game, there are mechanics that happen after you have sex and we need to uh, to do them. And it's always gonna be a good time. Don't worry about it, we're gonna have fun with sex moves. The other big thing that is in this game that helps make it distinct is that uh, everyone has a darkest self. There are different things that trigger the darkest self. Uh, the big one being, that's one of the things that can happen when you die. And your darkest self is the worst possible version of yourself. Uh, if It's like when you're watching uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and that cool NPC becomes the villain for half a season, it's because they probably entered their darkest self. That's, that's, a, that's a big one. Uh, and when our players enter their darkest self, you're going to see them have a lot of fun, uh, but just, they're not going to be good friends for a little while. Um, that's just how it goes and one of the fun things about the game. I also want to let everyone here know that, uh, speaking of dying, uh, there are only four hit points for our players. Uh, every one of our players, not players, no, player characters, every one of these characters, uh, has, uh, has four hit points. It's not a lot of hit points. When they die, they might die. They might become their darkest selves. Death is but an illusion, especially if you're playing an undead person like Donovan the Vampire. So that is going to be super fun. Cool. Oh my gosh, I just talked about a bunch of stuff super quickly. Everyone, everyone, like, make a, a noise so we all know that you're still alive and with us. I'm still alive. Woo! Yes, still alive. <laughs> Great job, players. Oh my gosh, you're the best, <laughs> best players I've ever had. I love it. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, now we're, uh, we're going to talk about the players. All right, let me bring up my other sheet here. Do, 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 do. It's my other sheet. Y'all can't see what I did in the audience, but assure you, I did something so that I can see things. I'm going to bop down to player number one tonight. Uh, and I assure you, I will be reordering these players to fit my whims as we go through the season. Mark it now. Whatever time we're at down in the video, you mark it, you tweet about it. And then in three months, you're going to come back and be like, wow. Brian did change the order. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a classic moment. It's going to be a uh -oh. Wikipedia Easter egg. Um, so let's start with Rob. You can see uh, Rob's Woo! character, Donovan. Donovan, how do we pronounce your last name? Farrelly. Say it again. Farrelly. Farrelly. Did I do it? Mm -hmm. uh oh yeah close enough <laughs> that's what some people might do it wrong and well i'm sure we'll get to that we'll get to that mm -hmm. that is a key character point um right now what i'm doing uh for my audience but also for myself so i don't forget what i'm doing get too distracted is we're just going to go through uh your looks and we're going to go through what moves you picked so uh tell us tell us what is what does donovan look like donovan is a brown to auburn haired gentleman uh pronouns he him uh he has smoldering looks and pained eyes which are like a sea green color wow um good looking but uh he's got like a gamer chic look mm -hmm. um to him uh, which we'll get into i'm sure okay 
Yeah, mm. I like that. Okay. Well, looks maybe just slightly older than uh, a high schooler should, maybe in classic young drama style. Okay, all right. Mm. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take mm -hmm. it. And while we're at it, let's take a look at what moves you have. You've got uh, Hypnotic, a fantastic mm -hmm. move. Um, where, uh, you know, if y'all have ever seen vampire stuff, where the vampire like looks at you and their eyes go all swirly and then the person does what the vampire wants them to do. Yeah, it's just mm. like that, except it fails a lot more. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that should be interesting. And yeah. even when it doesn't fail, something even when, can happen. That's absolutely true. Know, um, teenagers are bad at doing things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mistakes happen? Yeah, that's right. But we learn from them. And you've also got uh, cold as ice, uh, which means when you shut someone down, which is something that all teenagers can try to do, mm -hmm. um, you are extra good at it. Uh, Very good. Yep. Now, and remind me, does the vampire automatically get feeding? No, no. it's not automatically. Okay, good. See, nope. This is why we have these conversations, folks. You are seeing... Mm -hmm real live MC to player interaction. It's a good yeah. and useful ability, but not one I'm starting with. So no. <laughs> I'm assuming that there's feeding that happens here and there. Oh yeah. Um, you just don't extra, get benefits, right? The extra benefits aren't right. quite there yet. Yep. This is also one of those fun uh, games where unless it says that on the piece of paper, we kind of make it up. So we'll find out during gameplay, uh, for example, if Donovan needs to be invited into a home. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't oh, answer that question yet. Don't do he it. He gets invited, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, hooray. Okay, great. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and now we've got a uh, wolf. Ashley, tell us about wolf, please. A uh, wolf is actually just a completely normal human being, at least as far as everyone else goes. He is, uh, you can see the art there. He's, yeah. he's kind of, uh, the art doesn't show very well, but he's got like a, a lean, muscular kind of build. Uh, blonde hair, red eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about red eyes. It's completely natural. It's a game. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's right. I love it. And let's take a quick look at what Wolf has for moves. Wolf, you've got uh, True Love, which is a move that all modals have. We'll get into exactly what that means later. It's fantastic. Um, the players at home who aren't familiar with players at home. Yes, right. You're all players in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> might be seeing the word string on screen a lot. Uh, just so you know, we'll get into the mechanics of the strings later. Uh, and then we'll remind ourselves exactly what you can do with them constantly as we forget. Uh, but the strings are sort of the social currency in Monster Hearts. The more strings you have on somebody, the more sway you have. It might be because of earlier incidents where you were, um, uh, where you came out on top. It might be because you have dirt on them. There's lots of reasons why you might have strings on somebody. But strings are very cool. Uh, it's how we. Sp it's sort of our. This is our our little point system, what we spend to get benefits and to cheat the game a little bit. And the mortal loves to play with strings. Ah, early pun, foreshadowing. Uh, <laughs> what else do we got? We got true love, we got entrenched. If you and another character have a combined total of five or more strings on one another, gain one to all rolls against them. I'm sure that won't come up. That's a That was a great choice, love that. And you've got sympathy is my weapon where every time you forgive someone for hurting you and you excuse their base nature, you gain a string on them. I love it. Great job, Wolf. Great job, Wolf. Thank you. I'm sure I won't be getting any strings at all. No, no strings. <laughs> this whole game. No strings. Nope. It's not going to happen. Wasting everyone time. <laughs> um, but since we have Wolf's character sheet up and I, uh, I, I see one more thing that I just want to point out to our players at home since that's apparently what i'm calling them uh we've got these four beautiful stats at the very top of your move sheet i just want to let everyone know hot is what you roll when you are being passionate and sexy cold is what you use when you're being mean and aloof 
Volatile is what you roll when you want to hit something or run away from it. And dark is what you roll when you're being uh, introspective and supernaturally. Supernaturally is a word. Let's jump to our next... Don't... Listen, I saw that judgy face, Stephanie. Okay? <laughs> Supernaturally is a word. As my wellness teacher liked to say in high school, it's a word if you use it. Um, and then they did eventually put wellness in the dictionary. Yeah, that's right. Uh, speaking of not Stephanie, Kay, you're in my next sheet up. <laughs> what did you tell us about Corey? So Corey is our infernal. There's some baseline sketch art of him there. He's got chocolate chestnut brown hair and sort of lighter brown gray eyes. A bit of a bad boy vibe. His looks are spoiled with burning eyes and his infernal designation is chosen. I love it. I love it. We're going to talk about uh, your origin is chosen uh, in, a, in a little while. But uh, first of all, Looking great. Thank you for that uh, brief explanation of how great you look. Let's take a look at your moves real quick. You've got soul debt. Eh, all the infernals have soul debt. Uh, that means that, of course, you owe a debt to a dark power. Uh, we are going to talk more about that later. That's going to be a fun topic. Uh, soul debt, of course, gives you two bargains with your dark power. You've chosen the power flows through you. You can give the dark power a string in order to add two to your next roll. That's a great choice. Great choice. Won't get in trouble at all with that. And you've also got strings attached. You ask the dark power for something that you really, really want. The MC, that's me will attach a price to the thing you want and hint at an undesired twist in its nature. If you pay the price, you'll get what you're after. Can't see that going wrong. That's going to be great. And you've also chosen can't save myself. When someone saves you from forces too powerful for you to reckon with, they mark experience and you gain a string on them. This is an excellent example of a move that the MC is bound to forget that you took. Okay, We want to talk about this real quick. I want to empower my players uh, and actually maybe even the audience a little bit. When something like that comes up, you can be like, hey... Shouldn't you mark experience and gain a string because I can't save myself? That's like the third person version like that you, the players at home, might use. But uh, Kay is probably just going to speak up and be like, hey, I think I should use can't save myself here, right? I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for reminding me. Give me all the strings. Yeah, get all those strings. Get all that XP. XP is super awesome in this game. When you gain XP, stuff happens and you progress as a character. It's totally different from every other tabletop RPG system that has XP. We're having a good time tonight, can you tell? I'm having a good time. Oh my goodness. Who should we talk about next? Let's talk about Krina. Wait, wait, Krina or Krina? Krina. Krina. All right, I got it right the first time. Krina, tell us about yourself, please. Uh, Krina is a fae. She's, you know, kind of fairy-like. Um, she is, her looks are dainty, and I interpret that as her being very small, like being very short and having a very small frame, and just having like really like small dainty kind of features, except for her eyes are enormous. Um, she has mesmerizing eyes. So when you look in there, you're not quite sure what color they seem to be. They keep, you might say blue, you might say gray or green, you might say that they seem kind of colorless sometimes. It's hard to remember the whole fey thing i like it it makes nah, pictures having very like a very 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 light blonde like an almost white kind of light blonde mm -hmm. she's constantly got it like messy buns and big messy braids and stuff that's fantastic i was listening to you believe it or not even though i looked really distracted um no, I get it. messy braids <laughs> i got you I, I i do want to explain why i looked really distracted so i have had uh the twitch chat up for too long and i apparently have been looking at the chat room for the people we are hosting before this session so i know i've <laughs> been telling everyone at home that i'm watching the chat i am for real now now i really really am <laughs> We're having a great time. We're doing great. Let's look at the Fey moves. We've got Fairy Contract. 
fairy contract is what all the fae... Hi, Rob. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a fairy contract is what all the fae have. Uh, it's, it's what makes them so extra special in Monster Hearts. It means when somebody makes uh, a promise to you, uh, you're going to take a string and you're going to keep track of whether or not they break that promise. Now, Karina, um, I don't remember if we had a Fae in the game that we have previously played together, but I'm going to make it clear to all the players at home that I'm asking uh, Stephanie to keep track of what Karina considers a promise. Because when you're a Fae... And, and, oh, just for that. oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it makes my heart leap. You know, <laughs> um, the, the reason why I, I do that is because uh, the player doesn't need to say the phrase I promise in order for the fairy to believe it to be a promise. And that's where it really matters. It matters if the fae thinks it was a promise and whether you and the, whether the fae thinks you break it or not. That's that's the real mechanic here, folks. Uh, there is no there is no uh, small claims court. In fairy contracts, uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, so please, 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 put that page of paper to good use, um, and let me know when things get broken. Uh, we're going to have fun. Also, you took beyond the veil to seek audience with the fairy king, Kaza to the abyss. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, so we've already started world building, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else here with us, uh, because uh, that means there's a fairy king. Oh yes, there is a fairy king. Uh, and at one point I get to pretend to be the fairy king. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh yes. As our uh, wonderful viewer, Amber Lark Art uh, says, I agree with your awe, oh, yes. See, now, now you know I'm paying attention. I've quoted you. <laughs> And that's that's the only thing you got? Oh. It's, yeah, I only get one pass. You only get one? It's all right. You'll get more soon. You'll get what? more soon. <laughs> um, and... Do you promise? Wow. <laughs> no, no. You have to promise me. That's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give promises. I collect them. Okay. All right. I want you to everyone mark the timestamp on that statement too. That's going in the the wiki later. Okay. You're gonna want to check up on that in three months. <laughs> but after that, we have um, Bridget. Bridget, the yeah. queen. Please, uh, Bridget, tell us about Bridget. Bridget is she's got long, curly, like darker blonde hair, um, green captivating eyes she's got a domineering look oh all right then. i love it uh, by the way this is a game about high school students in case any of y'all missed that it's gonna be a great time we're playing uh juniors in high school um which means that you can't judge us that's what uh junior stands for junior stands for you can't judge us um it's a uh, it's an american thing don't worry about it <laughs> let's, let's take a look at your moves You've got the click. That's, of course, the key to being a queen in Monster Hearts. You start with a gang, um, and your gang is uh, people who uh, think you're all right, and uh, it's we can have some fun uh, trying to get them to do things that we want. It's going to be a good time. You've also taken many bodies. When you promise one of your gang members to someone, add two to your roll to turn the on. Mm, that's a, a move that we're going to use a few times. That's our flirting, our flirting move. Uh, when one of your gang members has sex with someone, it triggers your sex move. That's right, because NPCs don't have their own sex move. So Bridget uh, has some vicarious sex moves. It's going to be fantastic. And there is a choice I made under the clip. Oh, yes. That is... Yes. Oh, let's make a, make sure that we let everyone know that the strengths of your gang, they're cultists with dark oaths and willingness to die. <laughs> We're going all out. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be scary. <laughs> yeah. Everyone at home catch that? 
That's... Not the jock and the cool popular kids. It's the cultists. No, I mean, yeah. we're Ready not to saying die. cultists. And why not both? They could be both. <laughs> true, yeah. true, true. It's not mutually I've exclusive. High school, they are a cult. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been to high school recently? I mean, right? <laughs> not recently. No. No. I was there recently. No. I was there last year, and oh boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, it looks like you already have some fans uh, in the chat, Bridget. So we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, so let's start building our town. Uh, we've got Gehenna Valley, Massachusetts. Uh, we're starting in lovely, scenic, uh, western to central Massachusetts because I am lazy. I am from Massachusetts. I tend to run uh, games in Massachusetts. And I'm not going to lie to the folks at home, the players at home. Uh, I am just doing what I do all the time for the most part here tonight. I, we're just filming it, and we got a, a, someone to make fancy overlays for us. So this is how my lazy games start, and you're going to experience it every Monday night. Lazy GMing for the win. Um, the nice thing about being in Massachusetts, especially uh, far from Boston, Massachusetts, is nobody knows what happens out there. If you've ever uh, been to the Boston area, uh, you'll know that people who live in the Boston area don't know what exists outside of the 495. Uh, we just have no idea, none, none whatsoever, uh, which makes any town out there uh, perfect for a spooky little story. Uh, it's true. I don't. I don't know what's outside of the what's west of the four ninety five defense perimeter. Because why would you go there? There's dragons Farms, out there. Trees. There's oh. mountains and the, Worcester. The turnpike Cows. to New York. You know what? We're actually going to decide right now, live in front of an audience, what's outside <laughs> of the four ninety five defense perimeter. Uh, we are Yankees fans. No. No. Oh. Oh, hey, no, hey, whoa. Don't hate whoa. I am a New Yorker at heart and do not hate on my Yankees. <laughs> that's, that's... I didn't say anything bad. I mean, <laughs> you implied it though. I didn't say anything good either. I mean. <laughs> hey, to be fair, I'm from New York too and I don't care about the Yankees. Oh. Uh, we've got a balance. Uh, that's why good. they are good. the bottom. Sounds like Western Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Gahanna Valley. <laughs> Is a is a town in Western Massachusetts. It used to be a more uh, full of life, bustling town. Um, and I'm I'm shooting these questions to my players right now, just so you know, players at home. I'm talking to now the players who are at home, but also on your screen. Um, what was this town? known for in the past what was the big industry that unfortunately or fortunately for some no longer exists uh like lumber like lumber you know, yes like logging yeah you're like logging. yeah that's the yes easy, straightforward choice absolutely <laughs> like still lots of things around yeah. all them furs Fur and pine. it's mm. a former lumber town um forest trees and of course, the total population is now a shadow of its former self, uh, because the lumber town, uh, it's, well, there's no lumber industry in Massachusetts anymore. Pennsylvania stole that, uh, Pennsylvania and Canada, uh, dang them. Uh, so we have a number of empty homes in Gehenna Valley. We've got uh, some empty businesses, even some empty classrooms as Gehenna Valley High was built, uh, in its heyday, uh, the 70s, uh, which is, the, of course, we all know is the heyday of the Massachusetts lumber industry. Now, <laughs> luckily, um, though, it's believable. Yeah, you, it's, yeah, it's a fact. It's not just believable. It's well, it's, it's true. Yeah. It's, yes. Uh, of course, uh, the Gehenna Valley still has uh, some stuff going for it. What's the business that it has that... Uh, at least some of the town is sort of proud of. What's their current claim to fame? Organic farming? Ooh, right. Well, you know, all that uh, Land? lumber. Uh, yeah. All, we cut we cut down some forests and uh, we, we threw some some things down into the soil. We've got some great maybe like, organic like, farming. Maybe like organic like animal farming? Oh, okay. And it would make a little more sense. I like yeah. that. I like that. Can we get even more specific? What is the animal that thrives in Gehenna Valley? So Chad is saying bunnies. Oh my gosh, are they really? 
Get out of town. Yes, yes. Like, can't you, can't you, like, get, <sighs> like, hair or something from the long-haired rabbits without, like, killing them? Well, that's... <laughs> They're, like, sheep. You could, like, shear them or something. It, that's Aren't true now. Them? That's absolutely true now. Yes. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe it's just wishful thinking. I am going to sire every rabbit I meet. <laughs> going to have a bunch of little binoculars. Just binoculars. Yeah, yes. yeah. <sighs> Secretly just, like, a... Uh, Disney princess, and you get all the rabbits to come to you. Oh, long hair, hair carving. Uh, chat is <laughs> correcting me, and they're saying it's Angora rabbits, which I suppose I should write despite the pun. That's the word that came to mind, but I didn't want to be wrong on stream and say that. It's yeah. right. It's, we're gonna blame the chat if forever we're quoted. Yeah. Don't don't mark the timestamp on this one. We're gonna leave this one out of the uh, out of the wiki. Okay. Um, okay. If we're wrong on this, it's the chat's fault, not our fault. That's so right. That's fine. That's right. It's Angora rabbit farming. Uh, oh, and it's great. Uh, not everyone is happy with their uh, with the attention that the Angora uh, rabbit farming fans bring on the town every so often. But you know, yeah, uh, lots of people in town are just thrilled. Just thrilled. Now, of course. The area around the town is dotted with hills, caves, and forests. Uh, the forests are definitely dotting, uh, as there was some former lumber industry. But like we said, we still have some. We still got some. It's not bad. Um, and of course, because it's a valley uh, and it's outside the 495 defense perimeter, it is prone to flash floods and heavy snowfall in the winter. Now, Gehenna Valley High. Uh, sits somewhere in the town, somewhere uh, specific uh, that, that that adds to our fun. Is it uh, right downtown? Is it uh, like directly on the highway? Where Where is it that is interesting? I think right downtown. Right downtown. I love like it. Right in the middle yeah. of everything, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like the sort of like the old main street where like half the businesses are closed now. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right where everything used to be. Yeah. You just yeah. Pic picture, it's like Cinderella's Castle on Main Street, USA. You know what I mean? Like, it is just, there is the downtown strip, and it leads to the, the giant rotary that goes around the high school. Um, that's canon now because Ooh. what a traffic nightmare that's got oh, to be. God. I, um, we know uh, how no. students die. Yeah. Yeah. Since it is <laughs> car accidents. So giant car accidents. rotary. When you say giant rotary, you mean like a roundabout. Traffic. A roundabout. Yeah, a roundabout. traffic circle. A traffic circle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone call it a rotary. I was like, is it a boat? I'm going to write traffic circle here. Um, Welcome to Massachusetts, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> as long as no one starts calling water fountains bubblers, I think we're okay. That's what they are. The the bubbler? Fountains. You mean the bubbler? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. At the end of Main Street. And we've uh, previously established... Um, that the school colors are yellow and black. This was very important part of uh, session negative one that we had off screen. Um, but uh, the school mascot, of course, is not limited to the bee. What is the school mascot? But what about the wasp? <laughs> Mighty Stinger. Oh I was thinking of the lumberman. It hasn't changed since the lumber. Industry. The lumberman. They were like yellow and black flannels. Oh yeah. my goodness. I, okay, I kind of like that. Can, I kind of want to say lumberjack instead yeah, of lumbermen. Yeah, just because yeah, lumbermen is a little. Seems... I always like like making it. I, I ran a Monster Hearts game where they were the lobstermen and then it was the lady lobstermen. <laughs> Yes, the lumberjacks are the lady lumberjacks. The lumber, yes. the lumber you, could you could have the lumber yes. yellow jacket. Oh, can we? Can it be the lumberjacks and the lumber jeans? Or is yes, that? Sir. Are we yeah. going to get so in trouble good. for a trademark no, that's good. on that one? That's good. I think that's good. All right. Well, we'll if our producers uh, tell us later, we have to change it. We'll change it. Uh, <laughs> but for now, we're going to go ahead and, and be the lumberjacks and the lumber jeans. Um, thank you, uh, chat, for approving. For, for letting us know that you approve of that. Uh, great. We've got our town built. Aren't we all super psyched? I'm super psyched. Are you psyched? Yes. Nice. I'm I don't know terrified. if you're asking me, but... I am. I'm asking I'm asking the people who can actually audibly respond right now. So, I'm worried about uh, the great. bunnies. Um, I'm worried for the bunnies. First of I'm all... I'm excited for the bunnies. I'm not them for all. them. I'm worried about them. They're Angora rabbits, first of all. Okay. Oh. They're not bunnies. My apologies. 
<laughs> so in a lot of Spanish recipes. Oh, oh no. no. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Organic? Oh my goodness. All right. Now we're going to build uh, our characters out a little bit beyond uh, looks. Uh, we're jumping around. We're jumping back and forth. Now that you know where you live, now we can make those really important uh, story decisions about our characters. So let's jump over here real quick. And I'm going to click on, let's see, I'm going to do this a little slingshotty. I've already started to rearrange the players. Um, so uh, that, that, that nice little Wikipedia article you're building, uh, you can say session zero, it already happened. Uh, we're going to start with Wolf here. Wolf, uh, All right. you've already let us know how uh, incredibly good looking you are, and we appreciate that. Don't get me wrong. But now I want to ask some more questions here. Let's see. What do I actually want to ask? What? Uh, oh, you took Boy Next Door. That's a yes. Cool, that's a great origin. I love that. He's uh, got that sort of sweet, everyone kind of likes him sort of deal about him. Okay. I like that. For dinner. Everyone likes him for dinner. Yes, I mean he's a great dinner guest. <laughs> right, guest. Yes. Yeah. Of course. I'm writing that down. Great dinner guest. That's canon now. And <laughs> uh, have, how long have you lived in this town? Your whole life? Uh, I think that. Yeah, I think most of his life. Maybe he moved here when he was young, but I think as far as his peers go, like he's been here since at least kindergarten so nice okay yeah 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 tony and let's see here wow. let's talk about your parents real quick um what if uh well first of all you got parents yes Great. I have uh, a mother and a father. Okay. What does your mom do? Mother is a uh, a doctor. Yep. And what about the dad? Father is a, I would say he was an athlete, but now he's old. So obviously he's retired. Uh, like a professional and, athlete? Yes. Like a uh, Olympic professional oh um, okay former olympic athlete yes and so, now he uh <laughs> does something much less exciting and probably does sort of like private training like he gives like he coaches people um, oh yeah who are, you, like more more serious are you a, a personal trainer at the local gym maybe not you but your dad <laughs> yeah yeah i think yeah he would do that yes just to get out of the house, you know, or maybe not. I don't know. Gotta make himself feel like he's still being a cool athlete when he's like, oh my gosh, old and past I, his prime. I love it. I love it. So I, um, I already know that this is going to come up. Uh, so what's your dad's name? We need a, we need a name for Mr. Freeman. Um, Walter. Walter. I Probably goes by Walt for his friends or whatever yeah. if he has any of those fans really i mean come now former olympic athlete walt freeman oh um, can't even i don't know i'm i'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> i a, think that sounds it rolls i'm a fan time, well i'm a fan uh, <laughs> and um Oh my goodness. Uh, the chat, the chat, is, you're a delightful chat. I just want you to know that every single one of you, delightful and distracting. Let's see what <laughs> else I have to ask here. Have you got any siblings? Um, I think no. Now, who needs siblings? Don't need them. What's your relationship with your parents like then? Um, so his parents are very hard on him to be very successful. Okay. Very much. Get good grades, do well in your extracurricular activities, uh, very strictly. And he just wants to make them happy. Do you actually want to make them happy? Um, well, yeah, there's part of it is, you know, wanting to make them proud. And part of it is they're not the best parents as far as 
they really want him to do well and they will go through probably not great parenting techniques to make sure that it happens. Great. I would say it's a lot better now that he's kind of more trying to make sure he lives up to their expectations when he was younger you know he was a kid so he didn't really understand it as much but now he's just like if I do this everything will be all right fantastic I love that well I don't love that that's that's awful situation (laughs) but it's great that we're building characters (laughs) I love it I love it oh it's great oh great get that get that trauma it's gonna be fantastic uh (laughs) What, what do you like? Uh, what are your interests? What, what does Wolf enjoy? So I think that Wolf, he does uh, sport. And I do think he enjoys it. Um, he, obviously his, his father is pretty hard on him to make sure he does well. But I do think there's an aspect or there's a part of him that does really enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, he it, a swimmer, by the way. He's a swimmer. Oh, okay. Um, cool. So that he does that for fun. He also just likes to like hang out with his buds. You know, normal teenage stuff. Yeah. Uh, video games. Absolutely. Uh, do things on your phone. Yep. Um, nothing extremely out of the ordinary. What's the best part about school? I think that he has a lot of friends there, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that they genuinely like him and he genuinely likes them um there is a part of him that you know enjoys hanging out with his friends because he knows that they like him for him as Mm -hmm. opposed to just want him to be successful like his parents but you know (laughs) yeah okay no i I feel you does your dad come to the swim meets? Oh, absolutely. If he does not do well, then he gets a very, very stern talking to. Okay. All right, great. So, uh, I love it. I think that is good for Wolf right now. Love that. Yes, more to come, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. This is just the beginning. That's why it's session zero, not just because it's fun to name things. (laughs) Zero. Uh, Let's talk to Bridget real quick. Uh, Bridget, you've got the amazing origin source of the infection. Let's talk about that for a second, shall we? Yeah. What do you think that means? I haven't figured that out. Oh, and fun. I was, I was hoping maybe, you know, in a well-timed flashback or something. Yeah. Maybe figure it out later. Something to play with. I love it. Yeah. Yep. But I think, uh, is it fair to say that you've infected your gang? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Uh, how long have uh, you lived in this town? Uh, my whole life. Whole life. Yeah. What about your family? Is it a, is a deep-rooted family in the town? I think my family might be rabbit farmers. Oh, okay. So they've yeah. come in with the new industry, possibly yes. possibly real early on. Yeah. Are you well off? I think they're fairly well off, yeah. like yes. They kind of like live on a farm and are kind of like kind of the crunchy hippie well off. You know, they buy a new Subaru every year. Yes. I love it. Um... Do you have a Subaru for yourself? I think I do, I but think I think do. my character um, might ride to school with her boyfriend now. Sure. She, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk yeah. about that soon, yeah. of course. Um, <laughs> like it a lot. That's super exciting. Uh, have you got any siblings? Uh, I think I maybe have a um, older brother who's a senior. Yeah, he's kind of a nerd. Like he, he might be getting ready to be like valedictorian or something. Great. Hey, chat. I need a name for that brother when you have a chance. Um, 
And did you say valid, valid Victorian? Is that what you just said to me? Yeah, he might be getting ready to be the valedictorian for the for the upcoming graduating class. He's a senior. Right, so. right, right, right. I mean, wh- I mean, we're going to start at the yeah. beginning of the school year. That is not a right. valid Victorian. Okay. Um, help me out, Google. There we go. Uh, and um, ooh, ooh, uh, we're going to go with these are great suggestions. We're going to go with Carson, Carson, okay. Carson Klein. Oh no, I can't do that. Uh, Harold, it's Harold. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is that cool with you yep that's good with me okay um i can't do carson klein i'm sorry i'm sorry chat uh might be valid victorian we'll see we'll see if uh that happens and uh and then i sort of cut you off i'm sorry any nope. other siblings nope just the one that's a great sibling though that's a yep. solid sibling we love that sibling all right let's see here And I um, love that. I love it. Da, 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 da. Brian Snow says, uh, what's your relationship with your family like, your parents especially? I think she kind of resents them. Like okay. She feels like they're like these like crunchy hippie types. They never want her to go out and have any fun. They are. Yes. She wants to just go party and have a good time. And parents are the worst. The worst. Worst. Hey, speaking of how awful your parents are, um, are we talking about a mom and dad situation? Uh, ooh, no, I like two moms. Two moms, yes. Yeah. yeah. Great, love that. Uh, da, 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 da. How long has your uh, clique, your gang, been really solid? I think since um, kind of since cheer season uh, started last year, yeah, um, was when I kind of started to put it together. Mm-hmm. You know, I was kind of one of like the lower rung cheerleaders my freshman year. Yes, and then my second year, I kind of moved up the pecking order. Let's talk about this cultist thing. For a mm-hmm. second here, yeah. Um, often when we talk about a cult, there is a sort of an aspect of uh, worship involved. Yeah. Is that the type of cult we're dealing with here? I think so. Yeah. I think there's kind of an aspect of like a little bit of mind controlliness mm. for the people who are my NPCs specifically. And are we? Uh, so we're worshiping y- you. Are you the? Yes. 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 It's yes. a cult of personality. Yeah. All oh, right. Um, love it. And I know that phrase means very specific things. And I'm not looking that up right now, chat. Okay. So just so you know, um, I'm just using that as a reminder to myself, really. This is you looking at my notes. Bridget is queen. You are absolutely correct, J Mags35. That is literally <laughs> correct. So <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. Let's see here. Whoever's trying to talk to me on Discord right now, I don't see it, just so you know. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. What do you like? What do you enjoy, Bridget? I like the drama of high school, the getting invited to parties, the yes. knowing who's not getting invited, you know. Yes. Like, Love it. I'm all about the social order of it. That's that's great to know. That is fantastic, uh, fantastic news. Um, what don't you like about school? Um, basically, classes. Yeah. Um, any of the studying. Um, I've gotten to the point where one of my um, followers does my homework for me. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank goodness. Yeah. Right. Because we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't. Yeah, I can focus on what really matters in high school. Right. The drama. Right. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you have that. I'm so glad we have that with you. Uh, (laughs) I love it. All right. Let's move on or not move on, but let's move to the side and talk to Karina real quick. Karina uh, you're fey blooded. Let's talk about that for a moment. Do you know that you're fey blooded? 
Yes. Yes. I spend, I spend the, the summers in the fairy realm with my dad. Get out of town! Oh, that's fantastic! Wow, that's such a nice like activity. Spends the summer in the fairy realm. How long have you been doing that? Um, only a couple years. Okay. Um, like I, I think that I had made like trips over into the fairy realm occasionally yep. as a child, but I didn't really spend more than like a day or two tops, and it was really just like an afternoon usually. Yeah. Um, until but like, I think like. Probably when she be, like, turned 13, like, became like that was like a magical thing or something, being 13. That's yeah. when she was able to like spend time, but she still can't cross over on her own yet. She still mm -hmm. has to get somebody to like bring her. And since we know there's a fairy king, uh, is your dad part of the fairy uh, court, as it were? Does your dad have hold any sort of position? So here, here's what I was thinking. Oh. Is that dad was the fairy king. You know? But recently he just kind of was just like, meh, I don't want to do it anymore. And oh, just like, yeah. He's dead. Like you do. <laughs> okay. Um, and so now maybe my brother is the fairy king. And he's Ooh. like, what? but he's like a lot more like, very practical. Even by like human standards, he's very down to earth and practical. Unlike Krina and Krina's mom and her and her brother's dad, like all very flighty but brother is like very practical and down to earth like super exasperated as having to be the fairy king now oh fantastic so you know what that means chat we definitely need a name for the brother uh throw out some name suggestions for us and we'll see if karina approves of your suggestion um uh that's not how you spell personality These are my notes, all right. They, they just they work for me, and uh, they're judgy. They're they're very very judgy notes. We are very in keeping of, of Monster Hearts. I'm yeah. cool with that. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we we I heard mention of uh, the mom there. So is the whole family fey blooded? Is the mom? No, mom's no. a human. Mom's a human. Yeah, she was a uh, messing around with fairies when she was like a little little young for that, and then I got knocked out. Nice, nice. Uh, what it, does she have a job? She has a series of things she does. Oh. Like once she was like, I'm going to restore antique furniture and then flip it and it'll be great. And then when she got really into like storage wars um, and decided that's what she was going to do. Mm -hmm. And she was going to like do her own like organic rabbit farming, but with a different breed of rabbits at home. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's like none of these things fail super hard. Yeah. But if you really get that successful, like maybe they could if she was a little more disciplined, but she's just very flighty and just gives up on everything after a year or two and does something else instead. But like she's able to provide, like, mm -hmm. you know, rent is always paid, like there's always food, you know, that kind of thing. Like I like How do you feel about her having a storefront downtown that's constantly changing. Oh, I love it. I oh, love, I that, love idea. that idea. <laughs> like every week, it's something new. Very Bob's Burgers. It should be a terrible pun. Yes. 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 <laughs> that could be something fun the chat can vote on. What? What? This week? What is, what it? is it this week? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Get your store puns ready, chat. I want them all. <laughs> Ooh, I like this suggestion for your brother's name. Uh, how about Elvin? Oh no! Okay, let's see. It's all right. We got some more here. Fairy. It's a little on the nose. Uh, Elvin. Yeah, that's that. That is <laughs> totally Elvin, Elvin. where they were going. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, Jack, short for something much longer. Uh, we also have Murphy, and uh, we have Bran. No, oh. no, because of our friend Bran. We can't name him Bran. Oh, sorry. Brad will be here on Wednesday, folks. You're not <laughs> impressing yeah. the Faye, come, come chat. On. I'm sorry. You got to do better, chat. Come on. What's like a fairy name. Come, like, but not Alvin. Alvin's not a fairy name. <laughs> it's a chipmunk name. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a chipmunk name. <laughs> I like the idea of Jack. I guess we're going to Jack, but it's short for something much, much longer. Okay, yeah. It's something that, that would give Corey like a run for his money on how long his name is. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we'll, we'll grab Jack for now, and then we'll see how it, uh, how it develops. 
I like Bartleby. <laughs> oh yeah, they just threw that oh, in Bartleby's there. Bartleby's a good one. I like Bartleby. No. Ooh. No, no, ooh, no, no, no. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. These are I'm great thinking, names. Sorry. <laughs> They're great names. We're I'm not gonna ignore them. We might pick them up somewhere else. Okay. There could still be an Alvin in the room. All right. Alvin. Not no, that's not what I said. All right, mom has a downtown store that keeps changing. Uh, is so the dad, former fairy king, is he around? Does he sort of appear and disappear, or is he just is he a constant in your life? I think that he doesn't ever fully cross over into the human world. Anymore. Oh, okay. Um, maybe sometimes he, I can like see him, mm -hmm. like he'll thin the veil enough so that I could see him and like talk to him sometimes. Yep. But it's very often it's not consistent. Like he's very just kind of like la 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 la. So he's like not fully present in Karina's life. Yep. I like that. Okay. Is is uh King Jack? Is he older than you or younger? He's older. He's older. Out of high school. Yeah, I think of Faye as having like like you know very very long um, lifespans. Yeah, he's probably like a lot older than Krina. Right. Um, he's probably like the equivalent of being like approximately thirty. Yep. So he's he's been an adult for as long as you've known him. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that's so old. He seems thirty. <laughs> I Maybe like Frida just assumes he's, he's right. right. <laughs> You're so old. He doesn't know what 30 is. Oh. <laughs> we'll definitely have fun with that down the line. Uh, do, do you have any other family that you know about? Not really. No. Like, I know that I've got some family. I may have met them years in the past, but not yep. really present. Okay. Uh, what do you like about school? Um, there's lots of people. There and is. I can talk to lots of people, and I can learn their secrets, and I can help them. Ooh. Yes. If they want. Mm -hmm. You like to help people, is that right? Very much. I mean, that's why I have pain powers, right? I was born to help people. Mm -hmm. I can do what I tell them to do. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely great. And, uh, oh, that's Tony. Cat. Hi, Tony. Everyone drink. Cat. Everyone take a drink. Everyone, Sorry, take, Everyone take, a drink. take a drink. There is a cat on a Gehenna stream. Take a drink. <laughs> I got I got my water over here. Okay. All right, cheers, chat. Ah. Um, <laughs> uh, what don't you like about school? Teachers always want you to like pay attention and like do your homework and write neatly and like not talk. Yeah, teachers Robert. teachers have rules. Rules. I don't really care for rules very much unless they're rules that I made. Love it. That's beautiful. It brings a tear to my eye. I really enjoy it. Let's see here. And we're going to jump over to Corey. Corey is a chosen. Corey, what does that mean? All right. Strap in your seats, everyone. Okay. So, uh, Corey's family has been here uh, for the last two or three generations. They moved from Spain. And, uh, Every generation or so in their family, someone is chosen to be the lucky individual who is the correspondence of Castile, Ooh. their dark power. Okay, hold on a second here. Another cat drink. <laughs> Castile is the dark power. Please continue. So, as he is the fifth, he is the fifth of his name in the... Uh, charting member or sixth charting member of his family mm -hmm. to be the uh, chosen one and from birth he was chosen watch these these marks people chosen to be this wonderful person who just beckons in castile's light uh things cory we're not gonna tell cory this his soul has been bartered yeah yeah we don't want to tell him that it's no he doesn't good. know this yeah but but yes, uh, his family essentially from birth has picked him. Uh, his name, for instance, part of why it's very long, is it literally means the uh, golden god given lamb. Wow. The slaughter. Oh, that that last part is important. Yeah. Yeah, it is critical. Okay. 
Well, that's fun. So you've got family then. Yes. Yeah. yeah I've got a, a lot of uh, a lot of family. Uh, I think a prominent feature in the town might be the Castile compound. Oh, really? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny. You know, they were known for being really well invested in the lumber industry, but suddenly, right before it closed, they switched into uh, owning stock and land in in Gora farming. It just right before everything went bad. It's almost as if they knew something was going to go wrong. Real estate. Yeah. Okay. And on Wall Street, I'm uh, I'm assuming you know friends in good places. Yeah, friends in good places just just hmm. happen to or they, you know they're just lucky like that. Good places. Very powerful places. Yeah, and very yeah. powerful places to invest in the real estate and other things that would be necessary for all the angora. Absolutely, that's amazing. Uh, so we have a we have a mom and dad. We do. We do have a mom and we dad. We have uh, Reina and Itor. Okay. All right. Hold on a second here. Reina. And I tour. A I T O R. A I T O R. That's how you spell I tour. And uh, do they have uh, jobs besides being wealthy? Uh, I think the mother is a stay at home mother, essentially. Mm -hmm. Her job is to just be wealthy. Uh, the father, he sort of manages property. So? So. He goes around, ch checks in on things, just sort of keeps the, the machinations uh, going around. Love it. All right. That seems great to me. Siblings? Yes. What do we got? So there are three siblings. Okay. There is an older brother named Lucan. Yep. L-U-K-E-N. He is a student at Harvard. Oh, 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 oh really? Uh, okay. Uh, Oh yes, only very. He's a very hard worker. He graduated valedictorian in his year. Oh my goodness! All right. And then he's got uh, twin younger siblings, who are sophomores. Uh, Feliciano and Alaya. Well, wow, you're really you're trying to get <laughs> me to work here. All right, Feliciano. And what's the other one? Alaya, A L A I A. A lie. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, we're gonna come back to the actual spelling of that later uh, when I need to make notes. But for now, I know how to say it. Yeah. Um, all right, give me a a a a, tr a trope uh, category for Feliciano. Uh, let's see. Student council president. St Whoa! All right then. Okay. Living it up as a sophomore. Very, very preppy, like. And what about Alaya? Uh, probably uh, a similar note, you know, very fastidious, studious, probably, uh, you know, tennis, plays tennis and does wonderful at that. JD. Tennis nerd, got it. Boom, nerds. Yeah, they're both very well, they're very pressured and uh, workforce into doing well in school, but it almost seems to come a bit easier to them than it should. No. Grades just flow. It's amazing that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Corey, what do you like about school? I don't, but there's people there. That's fun. Yeah. Why do you go to school? The police showed up once and were like, you kind of have to go. Ah, okay then. Cool, cool. We're keeping it simple, keeping it calm and normal. I love it. And uh, what's the worst part about school? They try to tell me what I can do, and that's just not true. I'm going to drink, and I'm going to smoke, and I'm going to do it all there. That's fair. You know, that's that's exactly just uh, just correct. Um, What's this homework thing? I'm not sure, honestly, personally. I've never done it, uh, ever, ever. So it's not for me. I love this. Corey, we got a Corey. Looking great, Corey. You're looking fantastic. And now we have our uh, our vampire, our Donovan du jour. Uh, Donovan. Hey. Hey, you were taken this century. Uh, yeah. And I, I really mean that within like the last hundred years. Okay. 
That's fair. So, like, how long ago? Uh, I was thinking that Donovan grew up in the Roaring Twenties. Oh, the Roaring Twenties. Yes. Not... Unfortunately, their parents were killed in the tragic molasses flood of oh, Boston no! in 1919, <laughs> which I will point out is a real thing. I can't believe you just went there. You. Oh, I did. Uh... I'm so glad you went there. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were uh, left alone in the world. But um, thankfully, the Irish mob was there during the 20s, and uh, they grew into, well, not the best behaved young man, but uh, they found their footing. Unfortunately, they were always a little nerdy, geeky, and uh, then when they eventually met um, a young woman who brought them into the world of vampirism, um, they, they went their own way for a while, but really came into their own in the 90s as uh, the internet came about and then really got involved in um, online communities and gaming and really are now thriving in this age of the geek and online gaming and th that's like their focus in their life online gaming to the point that they've started to get a little attention up about it but i am thinking that they have some sort of um, cover where their parents actually recently passed away um and they came to town within like a year or so okay and yeah. they're emancipated so yeah we'll say you came in uh, as a sophomore sounds good uh confession rob are you trying to tell us something no <laughs> you sure yeah yeah no okay. one believed how old i was anyway That's yeah true. i was about to say um so uh, apparently not everyone in our chat uh, knows about the uh, molasses flood. So just real quick, uh, and then you can mm. Google it later. Uh, a long, long time ago in Boston, there was a company who uh, traded in molasses. And they had these huge tanks of molasses like in the city of Boston. And they were not filling them properly. Uh, they were putting way too much in tanks that were not built to hold as much molasses that they were putting in them. And they ruptured. Um, and uh, there was waves of molasses that went through the city. Um, and people literally got stuck in it and drowned. Truth. That was true, a disaster. True story. It Ruth? is not a, a, not a great story. Um, Drunk History did an episode about it. Uh, I recommend it because uh, if you're going to learn about it, you might as well laugh a little. I uh, found it through random facts, so I need to go watch that myself. Yes, it's a, it's a thing. It's a real thing. And wow. there are, are people in Boston who were not alive during it who talk about it like they were. Um, we're, we're not over the molasses flood. We're uh, wow. just like, we're, we're not over uh, JFK being assassinated. It's just, it's just n things that we will not get over in Boston, Massachusetts. So, uh, suck it England and everyone throw some tea into a body of water tonight, uh, in honor of Boston. So mm. moving on, why, what do you like about high school? Why are you going to high school again? Uh, kind of just to blend in easily. It's a way to say, oh, like I'm busy, you know, I, I can't be out. Um, gives you uh, easier to maintain like life and cover guys pretty much. And makes more sense why they're always online gaming and not like working professionally. Although probably is a little tempted about being a professional gamer now that I think about it. Huh, I was well, thinking maybe they've gotten some recent attention in that regard, and they're actually not too comfortable with that because uh, it brings yeah. attention to their own life. So it's, it's time to lay low a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the best way to lay low is to fit in as a teenager and sweet Gehenna Valley High. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for that reference. Yeah, it had to happen eventually. <laughs> um, and uh, everyone who doesn't know that reference, uh, good for you. You don't really need <laughs> to know it. <laughs> uh, what what don't you like about school, Donovan? Mm, the kids. Could you expound on that a little for me? Young I mean, just some of the like ridiculous behavior and the like 
need to toy with each other. Donovan is much more about like, get your work done, go have fun. But again, that increasing, you know, popularity amongst like the gamer chic and the age of the nerd, the age of the geek is making them a bit more interested in engaging with younger people since they're all about what he's all about now. All right. Uh, he actually fits in a bit more. Where the 90s, it was kind of terrible. You were made fun of for being an AV kid. You know, now they can start to really get engaged with, uh, you know, probably the local gaming groups. How well have you managed your uh, your cash flow? Are you a, a wealthy vampire? I, I say mid to well. Um, probably every so often has a bender or two, takes some trips. Yep. You know, okay. It's probably invested in some uh, good technology now back at home. Yeah, that's fair. Can't, you know, can't go too far because it'll attract attention. And I imagine that uh, old contacts in the Irish mob are what helped them with all that. Do you have an automatic uh, mobile device? A car. Do you have a car? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? My phone? <laughs> yes, definitely have a car. Cool. Great. Yeah. Is it a modern car? Yes. Yeah, something, something you know, all tricked out with uh, recent tech. Doesn't have to be flashy. It might might be you know, um, costly, but it's more about the tech, not about the sports car ness. You know. Corey, do you have a car? We jumped to Corey. I'm sorry. It was very dramatic. Oh, Corey. Yeah. But that's my name. <laughs> I, it is. It's <laughs> that's crazy. My name. Whoa, uh, Corey has a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Uh. Terrifying. <laughs> Have you ever crashed your motorcycle before, Corey? Uh, this is my third motorcycle. Third <laughs> motorcycle. Great, fantastic news. Uh, uh, Krina, what about you? How are you as far as uh, human wealth is concerned? Uh, well, like I said, like my material needs are met and like, you know, sometimes I'd get something nice and shiny new, but like, there's not a whole lot of money. I definitely don't have a car. Yep. My mom is like a moped that like breaks down a lot. It's super impractical for Boston. Oh like, my gosh. I love it. Yes. Yes. Of course your mom does. Your mom has. Sometimes I borrow it. Sometimes she lets me borrow it. But, oh yeah. no, that's awful. I take it all back. <laughs> let you as if that's a favor. Right. It is, all right. I mean, I asked her if I could take it. She's like, sure, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, great. Um, love that. Uh, we know that Bridget has money. Um, and I sort of assumed that Wolf did because Wolf's mom is a doctor. Wolf, uh, clarify for us, would you? Yeah, I. so I think he has a car. Nothing like you know, this year might be like two years old or something, but it's a pretty all right car. It's a used um, car. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, you can't just give your son top of the notch thing right off the line or else yeah. they'll never learn. Daddy's last you? Lexus. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You can have it. Uh, yeah, but he's got to get to, to swim practice one way or another. So love it. Love it. Uh, let's check my big list of things. Big list of things says, says, Brian, you're doing really good here. Great. Thanks. Big list of Ooh. things. Thanks for the, for the pep talk. Uh, we're halfway through our scheduled time. So, uh, since we're segueing to, uh, building NPCs, that's next. We're going to build the classroom out. It's super exciting. Um, we're going to take a quick fiver. Uh, and we're going to go to break, and we will be right back.
Mike, audio, and we're back, hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Yep, we're back. Yay, thank you for the confirmation. Um, and thank you, Chris, for you, for standing all of us so far. Let's take <laughs> a look at where we are in my list of session zero things to do. We're going to start building out the classroom. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be tough. Because uh, usually I have some more standouts to decide who gets to pick their seat first. And I don't know. I might have to use uh, dice. Uh, that's rough. So in, in Monster Hearts, uh, as the MC, I'm not supposed to roll dice ever. It's one of the big, big rules. It's all the player's dice. Um, so I actually only have one die with me right now. I'll show you. Uh, people at home. Uh, it is a die 
that has different smiley faces on it. Ooh. And it helps me make decisions. Um, it is face. very easily yeah. the uh, the one die that I think I've probably rolled more times in my entire life, as I don't keep track of my other dice that well. Um, and uh, it helps me make choices. So let me see here. And uh, don't tell Avery Alder that I'm using dice in Monster Hearts, okay? Um, eh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. There is, I'm not, I don't need to use my die for the first pick. There's only one obvious choice for first pick of seats in Homeroom, and that is Bridget the Queen. Obviously, we have a queen. What am I doing with my life? So, uh, with Homeroom... <laughs> Thank you for recognizing. I, yeah, I, I saw you waiting uh, after I realized it. I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> and I look over at your face, and I'm like, oh, she knows, too. She knows. Um there's our classic homeroom. Like I said, uh, the school is was built to hold a lot more people, so there's only 12 people in our homeroom that have, has nothing to do with how many NPCs I want to manage. That is an economic choice, okay? So we've got the teacher's desk right at the front. We've mm -hmm. got our entrance to the classroom. We've got windows on this side, front row, back row. Where does Bridget sit? Uh, second row, all the way to the left. Second it's got the best row, lighting near the, the window the for like selfies. Yes, um, that's very important. Yes, right there. Beautiful. And yes, chat, you are going to get to help with the NPCs. I have someone asking. Uh, you clearly missed uh, my brilliant intro, but don't worry. Uh, as all Gehenna Valley, uh, not just Gehenna Valley, but Gehenna Gaming. Uh, live streams get recorded uh, so you can watch this all day uh, on loop at a later date, obviously, because this day is <laughs> almost over, and right now it's live. Um, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Don't, don't, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, chat. They're, they're, they're apologetic. Okay, but uh, we all we all love the chat, the players at home. Anyway, that was Bridget. Now, the nice thing to do uh, would be for me to let Bridget place uh, her gang, uh, but I'm not nice, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we are going to instead let... Uh, ooh, we're going to let Corey go next. Uh, Corey, where do you sit? Oh, Corey is almost antithetical to that. He is back corner closest to the door. Oh, yes, Corey. The Infernal. Uh, and after Corey, we are going to let... Okay, no sucking up to me, players, via the Twitch chat. All right? <laughs> Just for that... Uh, Rob, you were picking last, all right? Uh, it's oh. <laughs> As I erase my message that says, oh, I love them too. Uh, Krina, uh, Krina, you get to pick next. Um, I think I'll sit behind Bridget. I don't want to be very close to the teacher, and I like being near the window because I definitely stare out them and daydream like all day long. Yes. All right, Wolf, where do you sit? I think Wolf sits... Uh next to Krina. Oh, okay. Kind of awkwardly in the middle, like not too close, but not in the back either. Everyone wants to sit near the queen. It's understandable. It's, it's fair. Of course, it's of course. And True. it's just perfect like line of sight. You know, he can look like he's paying attention, but secretly just eyeing the back of Bridget the whole time. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's, uh, it's super important. Um, and now, uh, Donovan, where do you sit? Close to the entrance and exit as possible. Yeah, so okay. Come in late and leave first. Donovan with a it's one in. I think you're later than Corey. <laughs> Corey shows up like five minutes before class is over. Like, I'm not late, right? I, this still counts as being here. Uh, the bell hasn't rung to end it yet. Beautiful. Okay, great. Uh, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump. We're jumping around uh, here. Actually, I got a little visual example for our audience at home here. Uh, see, I got some paper here. See this paper? 
Uh, this is in uh, the book, the Monster Hearts book. Uh, oh, that looks like this. Look, I can advertise everything. Look, I'm so advertising. Um, and uh, it tells you right on here, like, the order to do things in as an MC. I'm not doing that. Uh, just FYI. I've, I've just, I've run this too many times, and I found my, my own personal rhythm. Don't tell Avery. Um, so now we're going to jump ahead, and we're going to do some gang members. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bridget, who's the first member of your gang? Um, my boyfriend, Chase. Oh, Chase. Oh. Where does Chase sit? Right next to me. Everyone. Right next to you. Great. Um, and if we had to sum Chase up with a, a, a trope or a click of some source, how would we sum Chase up? He's the golden boy on the football team. He of is, course. of course. Is he like quarterback or does like the quarterback for sure? Okay. Skill positions only. <laughs> Skill positions only. Skill positions. <laughs> yes. Wow. Of course. <laughs> okay then. Uh, we're not going to read into that until uh, later tonight. Uh, let's see. Here. <laughs> Chase. Chase. Uh, it sounded like Chase has got he him pronouns. Yes. And he is the football quarterback. That is not how you spell football. There's no K in football. But there is an I in team. <laughs> Golden boy. All right, who's the second member of your clique? Um, I think uh, I want like a right hand who's also a part of the cheerleading squad. Yeah. I don't know her name, and I'm happy to throw that name to chat. Oh, chat, we need a cheerleader number two. Who is our number two in cheerleading? Thank so is you. it Brittany, Heather, or Tiffany? Wow. Uh, another B name. Um, you want a B name? No, I don't want another B name. I wouldn't pick someone else with a B name. Oh, uh, well, the chat is saying Timothy. Yes. Rob's I, I'm excited. okay. Ooh, we've also got a Marissa. Marissa. I, I like that. a Marissa. Marissa Sasha? is good. I didn't even we'll see We'll go with that. Marissa. Oh, right. Marissa wins. Ooh, there's a Marissa if we want to get a little spicy with it. I'm not going to remember that. Come on, <laughs> I think you've brought enough sp spice for Brian. <laughs> All right. Marissa. Are we going to give Marissa she her pronouns? Yes. All right. And Marissa is the number two. <laughs> She's my right hand. And she is a cheerleader. She's actually like good at cheerleading. Like she cares about the competition, I think. Like she's worried about like making state. Whereas Bridget is not. Wow, Bridget. <laughs> Why are you actually trying? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Where does uh, Marissa Stop. sit? Um, I think Marissa sits uh, to the right of Chase. Oh, okay. We're just going to go right down the row here. Yep. Man, just give Wolf everyone to look at. He'll look at all of them. <laughs> Love it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And uh, who's the uh, third gang member? I think that there's a girl that I lifted up. Ooh. She was like a nerd, and I took her and made her a cheerleader and made her popular. Ooh, um, that's so she's the one who you. does the homework for me. Ah, um, mm. I think Ooh. maybe call her Tabitha. 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 Yeah. Are we gonna put Tabitha in front of you? Or? Yes. Okay. Tabitha uh, from Bewitched. <laughs> Um, we got a nerd. She is a cheerleader. She's cool now. She just she's a popular nerd. Yeah. All right. She can be both. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, poor Tabitha. Tabitha, she's doing well for herself. Chat, oh, poor Tabitha. Yeah. Don't Come mind on. the weird cold things that are happening. Right. Tabitha's fine. <laughs> yeah. She, she's, is the best. The queen she's, is a benevolent character. Of the queen course. I only want the best for my subject. Of course. Oh my goodness. What a judgy chat we have. Oh my goodness. It's, it's Brother West, so I mean. <laughs> Alright, and I think I heard a she, her for Tabitha. Yes. Great. Uh, we got, we got 
cheerleader was a nerd and now a cool nerd. Oh my gosh, they're actually following along. They're pressing F for Tabitha. <laughs> I guess who, we know who's dying first, y'all. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> but who will do the homework? Yes, condition oh, already pulled. Like, uh... <laughs> uh, great. Uh, I love that. I love that. All right. Now, let's see here. We've got all these empty seats, uh, chat. Um, we, we need some tropes. We need some really good tropes. I am going to... Goth kid. Goth kid. Goth kid. <laughs> Goth kid. I, I was gonna say it's I'm gonna. Valley. We have to have a goth kid. I, I'm, I was gonna say that I'm gonna bounce between the players and the chat here. But they're saying goth kid. It's they, fine. They, they yeah, are they're, saying. They're like, it's all cap, goth the kid. chat wanted a goth kid too. What is the I name of our did. goth kid? Yes. I was gonna chat up, but I knew they wanted it. What is the name of the goth kid? You got it. You got the goth kid. You won. Now, what's the name of the goth kid? We'll, we'll let chat come up with a name for a goth kid because I'll do better than I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not goth. I just wear a lot of black. Dixie. Oh, I love Dixie. that. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, no. That's, that's, it's set. I'm sorry. It's Please absolutely set. Oh, no. Um, We're going to only treat this goth kid with loving kindness, clearly. Let's see here. Uh, I can't put the goth kid next to Corey because that's a lot. But I think I could put the goth kid behind Wolf. All right. Yeah, that's too much black if you put him there. Yeah. Or her. Well, how does Dixie feel about having a character named after her? I, she, she suggested it. She, she suggested it. She suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, because I run off of this screen so much, I need to put some of my pronouns here, or I will forget them. All right. Also, uh, I saw bad boy intellectual, and I really liked that suggestion. Ooh. So um, I don't really know what it means yet, but I'm excited. Um, uh, Ro atro what? Sorry, uh, atrosentience. Uh, what is sorry, that? Uh, Chelsea Bagel said Crispin for the name of this kid, and I like that for our intellectual bad. No, oh. I have a coworker named Crispin. Crispin. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, oh we're no. saving Crispin for something else. No, we, we I have, have a coworker, coworker named Crispin. Crispin. Oh, okay, we can't do it. I'm sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> I'm sorry. What about uh, Caleb? Caleb, yes. <laughs> Caleb is our bad boy intellectual. We're going to put him right next to Donovan. <laughs> right next to Donovan. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Like nice Jess ready. from the Gilmore Girls. Okay. Uh, was, was Jess the one that ends up in Heroes? Is what? that the same person? I don't remember. Je Je yes, Chelsea. No, someone else is. Someone, someone is saying yes. I don't know who Jess from the Gilmore Girls is. I'm sorry. I don't either. I don't know One of them I've ended up in Gilmore Heroes. Girls. That's all I got. Um, all right, I'm ignoring you for a second. Chat. Um, yes, Jess turned up in Heroes. Oh, I know who he is. Then great. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Someone had suggested Stoner and Burnout, which yeah, is a good trope. That's a solid one. Um, mm. let's... Someone's got to provide for this party, which I mean, not. Not Corey. Clearly, yeah. he's not gonna get get us the goods. What's a uh, What's a good name for our bad boy? Um, our stoner. Our stoner. I think someone is telling me the name of the actor, uh, but yeah. I'm gonna steal the name anyway because I like it. Milo <laughs> is the. the is, Can you put Milo behind Krina? Can he be in the back corner? Would that, would, make sense? Would that be helpful for you? Would you like Maybe. that? Yeah, I can do that. I, I'll, uh... I also think it makes sense that he would just, like, chill in the back. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Between the goth and the face. That kind of makes sense. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, so can there I was some... suggest they, them for Milo? Yes, you may suggest that, and I will take that suggestion. Um... <laughs> what? No, we're not putting a cat lady in the home room <laughs> chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I do like, uh, someone had suggested school paper editor, and that's such a great trope, so let's do that one. Um, the school paper editor may own a cat, it is yet to be decided, but they don't bring their cats to school. Um, we could have a, we could have a cat girl who loves Hello Kitty. I don't know. I don't, I, mean, I don't All right. know. All right. I'm so Too much. I found the line. Are you saying I found the line? You found it. You found oh, it. We stopped this party at Hello Kitty. 
<laughs> what's the name of our uh, of our newspaper editor chat? Yeah, Emily. what's? Ooh, oh, sorry, I threw out a name. No, I like Emily. It doesn't yeah, have Emily. to be chat every time. Okay. They they've okay. done plenty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Emily. I want to put Emily sort of in the middle because uh, okay. Emily needs to pay attention to the drama as well. Mm-hmm. Um, she has to know what good moments to put in the yearbook. Yes. Ingrid is a good name. I'm gonna use Ingrid for something. Um, uh, Emily, she can Ingrid be our nerd nerd who didn't get to be risen up? Oh, I was gonna oh, suggest a band to be friends kid? with Tabitha. Ooh, Ooh, band nerd, band kid, band nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Ingrid could be yeah. our band kid. Yeah, I I feel like I want Ingrid to have someone who used to be her friend. Who is yes, friend. Ingrid yes. is anymore. like Tabitha's old bestie, and now Tabitha yeah. doesn't like That's hang amazing. out with them anymore. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, but they still sit next to each other. Perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's awkward. <laughs> it's super awkward. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, it's a marching band, obviously. Um, oh, the Gehenna Inquirer is the name of the paper. That's pretty good. Uh, so I'll make a note of that. I'm not going to, uh, and I'll probably forget about it. Not Let's like see. the Gehenna Chronicle? The Gehenna Chronicle? That's good. The Gehenna... The Gehenna bloodline. No, that's too dark. No, wait a um, minute. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be like at least a half step removed. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm all sorts of flabbergasted now. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna call out one of my players, um, Ashley. What trope are we yes. missing in our classroom? Oh boy. All right, let's look. As if I wasn't looking the whole time. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Well, we have. I, not, I did see a suggestion earlier as like a, another kind of sporty person. Yeah, yeah, let's um, have another sporty person. So we person. could have another kind of sporty person. Yes. Um, we could do, I mean, I don't want to be like uh, <laughs> selfish, but someone related like to the swim team. Yeah, be cool. let's be uh, selfish. I love it. Sweet. Be feral. <laughs> All right. So we could do like swim team captain. Well, I kind of envisioned Wolf as the swim oh, okay. captain. Oh, but... oh. oh. Can we have like... a friendly swim rival? Like, yeah, we yes. can do like swim rivalry. Okay, Perfect. great. Uh, let's um, see here. I did not think of a name, of course. Okay. So, I'm looking uh, at the chat for names that we've um, not used. Um, we, we do have a suggestion of Bex. I like Bex. That's cool. I like, I like Bex, too. All right, great. Bex is the swim team rival. Um, uh, slash you friend. Your, you broke, you broke your, your trend of cap on every letter and it bothers me. I'm Oh, did I have a trend? I'm so sorry. Yeah, everything else, every word is capitalized. Let's fix it. We're going to fix it. We're going to capitalize right. T. <laughs> We're going to capitalize R. And we're going to capitalize. Um, uh, that would bother me for the rest of time. I'm sorry. It's this right. is the content we're here for. <laughs> oh, it, apparently Bex was someone's daughter's name. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to honor your daughter by naming, uh, by using she, her pronouns here. Uh, it's an intergender swim team, obviously. Yes. Do not connect this character to your daughter, though, or else he might get some weird things happening yeah that would be weird because we're probably going to kill your daughter um yes killing that's exactly I mean, what i was thinking of the character. i mean let's <laughs> it's not your daughter uh listen you know what bex is actually they them let's just <laughs> kill that <laughs> association <laughs> now yeah All there right. you go uh <laughs> totally different person um <laughs> let's see here and uh, I love I love this so far. Oh, can we have like a a super snooty rich kid? Because I oh, know hi. we've got a couple. I have mm. an idea. Yes, please. Can I have a, a cousin in the uh, room? Oh yes, of course you can have a cousin. Someone has to watch me in school. Yes, let's see. <laughs> and we've got a, a one a, two a snooty, dinner snooty rich kid. <laughs> dinner three four <laughs> five six seven. Um, uh, verse one, two, three, four. Okay, this is a, it, we're we're leaving heavily female. Uh, so okay, we. Okay, so I'll make I'll make this a boy. Yep. 
And uh, their name can be Garel. Oh, God. G A R I L E. Hey, chat, can we have a uh, a name for uh, Tori's cousin, please? We're looking for Basque Spanish. Todd. Uh, Mark. It's a cousin, okay? Mark, Marco. Uh, hey, Mark with a C. That's kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, somebody suggested uh, Vivian. Um, spelt kind of I, funny. I do love that. I, I do. Really Mauricio. I, I kind of like the idea of Viv. Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. Fernando. Reginald. It could just be Viv. Someone just wrote cuisine. That's not a name. <laughs> it's not okay. He thinks a name now. My dinner, so that's why they're the cuisine. <laughs> Gerard. You know what? Ooh, Dorian. They're cuisine. Uh, Dorian. We're, we're doing Dorian's it. Dorian's a good one. You're not naming my cousin cuisine. <laughs> okay. No one we're doing. Nom, 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 nom. All right, no. fine. No, we no. can't do Dorian and Donovan. I'll never survive No, that's that. true. Mauricio? Yeah. Mar- we have Mauricio? I love Dorian. All right. I actually, I really like Mauricio. Um, we're going to do that. Mauricio. Mauricio. It, I like that. It reminds me of um, the guy from Romeo and Juliet that's actually really cool and everyone likes. Mercutio. Mercutio. Yeah, Mercutio. Mercutio. Yeah. Except um, this guy's not gonna be cool. No, he's not cool. Um, he he's a uh, rich. He's singer s- on snooty. Oh, God, and snooty brother West. No. He loves food. He's a he's a cuisine. He doesn't even call himself a foodie. He calls himself a cuisine. Um, <laughs> cuisine. I'm never gonna remember that. that. It could Don't be worry. Art kid. I feel like that's uh, that's something we're missing. Oh yeah, art um, kid. There's also art. been a lot of suggestions for art techie. Kid. Um, we can have an. Mm. Oh, there's also the D and D kid. Oh my gosh, there's so many good. Suggestions I would like here. a techie or a D and D kid that would jive with like my the anime kid. kid. The anime, the anime kid. kid that was in anime here too. Kid. All right, anime all right. Nerd. We can only have so many though because we're gonna we're gonna need NPCs and the other kid grades. Kid Naruto runs down the hallway. No. That's, yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So that's a thing now. Um, Xavier, as I'm taking it, Xavier. I like Xavier, yeah. Love it. He, he could be into D and D and tech stuff and anime. Yes, that was the suggestion. Nards could just be. <laughs> yes, just all the the nerdy things. Oh man! Absolutely, and he absolutely Terrifying. Naruto runs down the hallway. That is his mm. signature character trait. Uh, oh F- no, that poor child. So child. He never acknowledges it. He just gets up and keeps yeah. going. Oh, it's fantastic. He loves it. It just brings him joy. You know. Why do we have to yuck on people's yums? Do we have to yuck on people's yums? I say, yes, he we're playing both. And is going to struggle to like this person because of their interests and be like, why? I fantastically why? love it. I fantastically oh. love it. Please tell me he wears a, a headband, the clan headband. No, <laughs> obviously clan. that's too obvious. When Come village, on he, now. Wears, he wears his jacket off of one shoulder with his like elbow tucked into the sleeve because it makes him feel like a samurai. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, this poor, this poor oh, person. I know. Doomed to my sorry. Four, very, four four very, very Xavier, please. Stephanie four is so cool. Xavier. Do we need to, uh, we, we need F for Xavier now? <laughs> it's been like 17 years and I remember this kid so vividly. <laughs> This is so and personal. Oh, <laughs> he was a legend. Thank you. Not I hope Xavier is actually secretly psychic. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Professor Xavier. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Actual gamer nerd. Right. Okay. Oh, so now Professor we're gonna Xavier. jump into some Thank backgrounds. You. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna reorder my slides once again. Uh, mark mark the timestamp for the <laughs> wiki. Uh, okay. It's very hot in here, but my fan is very loud. So if I take my fan on, it'll be very obnoxious to everyone. <laughs> so, so um, <laughs> um, uh, Bridget, we're gonna start with you because we already sort of started. Uh, okay. What does your first background section say? Uh, name three side characters mm-hmm. who are members of your gang. Gain a string on each. Great. So I named Chase, Marissa, and Tabitha. You did. You did a great job naming side characters. Thank you. I like that. that Marissa and Mauricio sit next to each other. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we did it by accident, even though we were trying to avoid it. It's too late now. <laughs> we also have Milo. <laughs> oh, no, it's not going to cause any issues. I, I, it's going to be fine. Listen, nothing can be better than Thad, Chad, and Brad. Yep. 
Uh, we're not talking about other games in this game, okay? Rules are rules. Brad and Chad don't exist here. Only Marissa, Milo, and Mauricio. Mauricio. Mar 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 Oh, well, good night, Cody. Thank you for joining us. And uh, I'm going to test you later to make sure you did finish this uh, on recording. And <laughs> let's... I'm going to write it down. Pop quiz for Cody. Pop I'll quiz for Cody. Time. Thank you, Karina, Pop for taking Cody. that note. That's a promise. <laughs> Mark that on your promise sheet. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cody. You break the promise. I have a string on you. Now. Oh, that's dangerous. It's dangerous. Uh, Donovan, what is your first background -y bit? You're beautiful. Gain a string on everyone. Whoa. So the way uh, that I uh, tend to do this, and I'm going to let uh, Donovan write this note for me, um, is that applies to the PCs. Uh, so I'm not going to give you a string on every NPC we've created so far, but uh, you get a string on uh, all the other PCs. Um, Wonderful. Uh, as, as you edit the art on your sheet live for everyone <laughs> to see. Quick, <laughs> make that clear. I just want to make sure everybody knows how good-looking Donovan is. The strings can come afterwards. Yes, everyone please take in this wonderful art of this beautiful boy. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, stinky jerbake. Uh, uh, since since we put the, the art up live, you, let's credit the artist real quick. Um, let's see here. Yes, I want to scoop my... I, I did put it on mine, yeah, mine also. i said that it there i heard that it wasn't entirely visible so i'm gonna move it a little bit okay and i'm gonna copy and uh paste it onto our friends as well copy. already done thank you all right beautiful so if you like the art uh, a lot of us uh by us i mean them uh the players that are live are using the same artist not everyone though don't worry about that. We're going to have all sorts of fun art as we get our stimulus checks in from the quarantine <laughs> and um, and and spend it. And we always credit our artists here at Gehenna Valley. So um, anyway, what the heck was I saying? Oh, mark your strings. Write it down in the little string box. Don't make me do it, okay? Do, do, help me out. So you're super gorgeous, so you get a string on everyone. Up next is Corey. Corey, what's your first background bit? So my first background is uh, I owe debts. Give away three strings divided any way you like between the dark power and the other characters. Excellent. So uh, how many strings are you going to give Castile? So uh, I'm going to give Castile two strings. Okay. Wow. That's wow. what I like to see. And then I think I will give a string to let's see here our queen how can i not yes the reverence she deserves or i should say yes i suppose yes yes, yes. Uh, yes. yes queen yes. all right and now we have krina krina what's your first background bit? you wear your heart on your string you wear your heart on your sleeve. Give everyone <laughs> one string. All right. <laughs> everyone gets to take one on Karina. All right. This is the first time I'm typing. Let me apologize for finger cam. Okay. Because it's going to happen. I oh, like maybe finger not. cam. Maybe it's, 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 maybe it's cut off. It's like nope, watching. Nope, um, it's not. It's just a little fingery. <laughs> just a little fingery? <laughs> it's just a little fingery, chat. Fake fingery. <laughs> Uh, Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too deeply. I love it. It's it make it's great. Uh, bye, Wiz Gidget, and thank you for joining our stream. Also, you spelt Bridget wrong, Donovan, and that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> In <Donovan>. process. <laughs> okay, hooray! Uh, let's see. After Krina. Well, you would think it's Wolf, but it's not. We're ignoring Wolf. We're going back to the top because uh, nobody likes the mortal. And uh, no, that's not true. In Monster <laughs> Hearts, if you have a mortal in your campaign, uh, they have a very special note in their background, and it says, you go last. Did you like that dramatic pause? I appreciate everyone for just letting that sit there for a second. Um, it means something. Uh, it was dramatic. Thank you, Chris, for you. Um, Bridget, what is your second uh, background event? 
My think, second thing is you find someone threatening. Give oh. them a string on you and oh. you take a string on them. My goodness. Do you have you decided who that I is? I have. I have an idea. And yes. I want to make sure that they are okay with it. Yes. Um, so Wolf is the boy next door. Mm-hmm. What if he is next door to me? Literally we next grew door. up together. He knew me before I was cool. He knows all my dark secrets that could be. I'm into it. Love okay. It. Yes. It. All right. One so we take string a string each. on each other. Okay. Sweet. I love I it. I will mark that. Oh, it's so exciting. Give me all the strings. I need them. <laughs> Give you For... all the fillet of strings. Give you those strings. Um, that's for you, Rob. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm doing that tomorrow during work. <laughs> speaking of Rob, Rob, what's your second background bit? <laughs> the second is someone once saved your unlife. They gained two strings on you. Okay. Maybe we let the chat decide a piece. Really? Ooh, really? Why not? Ooh, okay. I like that. All I right. Like that. Chat. chat, we are going to you. Who do you think saved Donovan's on life? Mm. Wow. Excited to see what they say. Yeah, me too. I, I was like, the, all these options are great. Oh, we've got uh, Krina. Oh, a lot of Krina. Oh, that was Krina, a Krina, lot Krina, of votes for Krina. Krina, Krina it is. Krina, 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 Krina it is. Krina does <laughs> like to save or to help people. Yeah, this so. right. I love the idea that it might have been by accident. Like you were just being like your normal flighty self, and like, <laughs> oh, what if? Maybe you were about to go into the Fey Realm for one of your summer ventures, and I happened to be like running or evading somebody or something, and like you briefly pulled me in, saved me, and now we kind of know each other or something. Okay, yeah, I see. Like you were running from something, and you just like happened to pop me. I was like, you can come with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, What's going on? Hey, but hey. I'd oh. be down for that. <laughs> okay, all right. So that means that there is something in the area at least at one point, that Donovan had to run from. Mm. It also means that Donovan uh, has been to the fairy realm. Love it. That is a lot of world building. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Also, um, mm. I'm t- waiting for Tony the cat behind me to decide what he wants to knock over. Uh, so go <laughs> ahead and start placing your side bets in the chat. Uh, what does Tony want to knock over? Um, Karina has two strings on Donovan. Oh boy. Oh my I gosh. have marked them down. I love Lovely. It. I love it. Oh. I am in trouble. <laughs> Let's see here. Thanks, chat. <laughs> love you. If this is, you know, we all make choices and sometimes we let the chat decide our very important yeah, yeah. background <laughs> strengths. Sometimes we make terrifyingly foolish choices. That's right. <laughs> all right, Corey, what's your second background, you bet? We're going to keep up with these uh, these dames in distress. Uh, oh. Someone thinks that they can save Corey, gain a string on them. Oh, who so, thinks uh, they can save? Who thinks they can save Corey? Are you throwing that out to the players? I will throw it out to both the players and the chat if anyone wishes to jump in. Oh, hmm. well, let's 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 help frame it. What's what's what would a normal person think is wrong with Corey? So let's see. He does not pay attention in school. You don't know how he's passing. He's constantly probably drinking, drugging, having a good time. He's just fun. Mm-hmm. But uh, God, this child is going to kill his liver before he hits twenty. Oh, no. And uh, how is he graduating? He seems to be keep going. Okay. The third motorcycle. Tabitha. Oh, we have a vote for Tabitha. Uh, there is also a, a vote from the chat uh, saying mortals always like trying to save people. Oh, there's a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's three, three for Wolf. Oh, yeah. Wolf, are you up for that? I'm up for that. I think he does try to be a good person and try to help people. Not as much as Karina Karina. Krina is the helper, but you know, when he sees someone struggling, he's not about to just like let them struggle. <laughs> All right. And what was the mechanics behind that, Corey? I will gain a string on Wolf. Oh, okay. Wolf. Let me, but let me make a note of that. Yeah, that's an important thing. You're going to save. You're going to save Corey. You're going to do it. 
Um, I don't know why they went with that voice. That's a weird choice. Um, let's forget that I ever said that. And uh, we're going to go to Krina. Um, what is happening on Krina's sheet? Who is who is making notes live here? It's bad notes. You told me I had to. I hit Control-V by accident. I'm sorry. You don't have to. <laughs> You're taking notes on paper, so you don't have to take notes in the yearbook. You said no make you type. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that to you. I thought I said that no, to Rob. Just, just to Rob. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to put the pressure on you. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I will own that. Um, thank you. Uh, you have a lovely printout. I see you folded it. Um, that means you printed I it correctly. It it's double-sided. Yep. I like highlighted it in glitter blue highlighter. That's amazing. Perfect. Um, it is Krina. Okay, man. Uh, I'll let the uh, audience know that I'm legitimately impressed by that because eight <laughs> out of uh, nine times, which is a weird uh, thing to say, <laughs> but of eight nine. out of nine times when I print those sheets out for conventions, I print one side upside down. So if you fold it, it just does not work. <laughs> so um, good for you. Anyway, Karina, what's your second I background? I color-coded my notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because I personally am very type A. I this love it. Really I love it. This is <laughs> this is amazing. I'm terrified. That's, that's, that's very Stephanie. <laughs> please, please, please share pictures of this and tag. I'll put them on Twitter for you. Oh, Twitter! There you go. There's a promise. Content, <laughs> there is a promise. Oh. Okay. Um, I have captured <laughs> someone's fancy, and I get to gain two strings on them. Oh. Uh, do you have a feeling? Yeah. yeah, I think Corey's fancy. Oh, what do you think about that, Corey? Uh, I think Corey has very awesome fleeting fancies, and it probably is fancied most people, so this makes sense. Okay, great. All right. So... I didn't hear any of that. Oh, uh, say again. Corey, Corey has very fleeting fancies. He uh, he gets around players in chat, uh, so it would not be that uncommon for him to spot a, a new nice pretty thing on his radar and be like, that's this week's jam. Wow. Rina likes partying almost as much as Corey does. It's, it's romantic, Man, really. It We're going to have a real good time. This is, these are We are setting the foundation for oh, some wait, so stable I, relationships. Oh, yeah. I yes. get two strings on you is my understanding. I think I get two oh, you get me. two strings on me. Oh, oh no. boy. Yeah. I'm in danger, <laughs> chat. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what that means it's time for? It is time for Wolf. Wolf, what is your yes. background, you bet? So it says, declare your backstory last. Got that. Um, choose one person to be your lover. Give them three strings on you. Take one string on them. Ooh. So I will say for the uh, chat, in case you don't know, um, this lover doesn't necessarily have to be someone that I'm like in an actual relationship with. It can be just someone that I, you know, really like they might not like me back um <laughs> it's true it's true story i truly love this person mm -hmm. for now until you, you have another true love <laughs> yes right. because it is fleeting we're teenagers and feelings change great often. so i was thinking two options here so give me a uh Give me some feedback. I was thinking either the queen, because of course everyone loves the popular girl, mm -hmm. or Donovan, because it's like there's something mysterious about him, mm. something not quite right. And I think maybe that could be alluring. Mm -hmm. And also uh, being in love with the sort of mysterious, kind of cool, aloof, mm -hmm. bad boy. Uh, <laughs> I just go home and play games and everything's fine. So just to uh, make it clear, uh, Bridget, uh, would you be okay with that? I would absolutely be okay with that. I Don also, oh, go ahead. sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Donovan, are you okay with that? Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Oh, okay. What were you going to say, Wolf? I do like, uh, if Juan said that Bridget is the girl next door, it would be a mm -hmm. kind of like, uh maybe he's had this crush for a while like Ooh. since they've known each other for a while yeah i, I her, even the in me likes that a lot yeah. <laughs> that's and nice. i like and... that i see you as a threat yes that's what i like 
<laughs> right. Sounds Fair great. I, I think I, I like that. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay. Um, so you take three strings on Wolf, and okay. I take one more string on you. Oh, my gosh. Wolf. So I'm up to four on you already. Perfect. That's and right. I'm at two, so five. easy, <laughs> easy, entrenched. <laughs> we're, we're there already. Don't need to try it all. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yes. Um. Yeah, we're having fun. We're having a good time. Yes. This will be healthy. Yeah, yes, yes. healthy. <clears throat> yeah. So let's see. What do my notes say now? Uh, my notes say uh, do backgrounds. Did it. Done. Check. It says, did you take a break yet? Yes, I did, uh, Brian of the past. But thank you for checking in. I appreciate that. Um, and we've got about 40 minutes left. Uh, so I think we can do the homeroom. Ew. There is, however, one really important thing that we haven't done if we're going to do the homeroom. Hot dog? No, you guys don't hot get the dog. no but the hot dog. <laughs> so now I have to explain what a hot dog is. Yeah, you do. So, <laughs> Not there. Just leave the hot dog out there. No, 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 no. I and won't do that. It's just no, a hot dog. It's just a hot dog. It's just a hot, hot dog. dog. No, I can't yeah. do that because someone's going to think it's sexual and I'm... I don't Why? want to leave that up there. Why? Why is a sexual hot dog sexual, Brian? In my what? Christian Monster Hearts server. <laughs> in right in front of my salad. <laughs> oh. Listen, listen. <laughs> a hot dog is a term that I picked up from uh the people who work for Disney, the Imagineers, as they like to call them. Um, and I, I always forget that it's not a term that uh, gets used in everyday conversation. And then I look like a crazy person, um, which is why all the players are already teasing me about it. Because this is not the first time <laughs> I've had to explain what a hot dog is. So um, <laughs> uh, it's the thing that gets you to move forward. So in uh, if, if you go to Disney... If you go to the classic Disney park, a Cinderella's castle or whatever castle for that park is the classic hot dog. It's the thing that makes sure that you don't just stare at what's in front of you, that you keep moving forward. Um, and all the parks have something visual that helps control movement. Um, in uh, a game, uh, yes, the carrot. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good analogy. Uh, broken golem. Uh, in a game, um, the hot dog is whatever gets the players talking to each other. The reason why I've latched onto Hot Dog for Monster Hearts is if you go to a convention and you decide to run uh, Monster Hearts, or if you run it with your friends and you're like, we're just doing one session, you know, you say it in that very serious voice that I just used, uh, there's a very good chance that whatever you throw out there as the hot dog, uh, you will never get to because your players will start talking to each other and c coming up with insane, crazy plans. And uh, you put the hot dog two days away and they never got past lunch on day one in that four hour session that you had. It's just, uh, it's just a thing. But luckily the point of the hot dog is just to get people moving. You don't actually have to get people to the hot dog. Um, so now you know what a hot dog is. Congratulations. This has been Learning with Brian, the MC. And uh, now we're back to homeroom. And have we noticed what we didn't do on the homeroom sheet class? Yes. Teacher. The teacher. teacher. And Ho the subject. Yes. The homeroom is the most important class of the day. And we need to establish who the teacher is and what they teach aside from homeroom. And um, because this is so critical... Uh, we're going to let the chat decide what subject they teach, but the players, yeah. the live players, need to decide on the teacher themselves. We're going to yeah. split up the work. So who teaches homeroom players? Uh, I want to say uh, Mix. Funderburk. Mr. Funderburk. Mix Thunderburk? <laughs> mix. Mix. Yeah, let's mix it together. Uh, mix Thunderburk. Thunderburk with an F. Thunder, 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 thunder,
fun. I think they meant Thunderbird. F U. F F U. No, we're we're combining it all now. It's thunder. No, come on, I like thunder. No, no. no. I'm being over overruled uh, by typing. I like, I like thunder Furk, though. Yeah, uh, thunder. I like thunder. All right, all right. I like thunder Furk. I would like thunder Furk, please. Yeah. Me a I mean, if you want to make it Thunderberg, okay. Thunderberg. Right. Thunder 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 All right. Thunderberg. No, I, wait, what's I'm really the... expecting a giant cat to show up with a giant sword and. Karina, what are you saying? What? 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 How are you saying the name? So his actual name was Thunderberg. Fun. Thunderberg. Okay. But if we want to make it Thunderberg yeah. because it's funnier, let's, let's do Thunderberg. Uh, mix thunder. No, you know what? That's it's just it's too crazy now. This is too much. <laughs> was Thunderbird? I swear to God. <sighs> and they're obsessed thing. with Hello Kitty. No, <laughs> no that's the line. <laughs> Rob, I'm telling the line. I'm sorry. Look, Ryan put Hello Kitty under red. Okay, stop. It, it okay, in. it's too late. You know what? It's mix Thunderbird. All right, and now. Let's see. It. Let's yeah, see if the it. chat did their job. Did the chat do their job? We got English, world history. Um, he taught world history. English. That was my, is that your <laughs> actual name, Brother West? English. That you're suggesting as the professor. Yeah, it looks like English is the most uh, desired subject. Okay, English class it is. Mix Thunderberg, mm. English teacher at large. Enjoys teaching Lovecraftian horror. Their first name should be Wesley. Apparently, is the suggestion I've got. Oh, is that important? It is Wesley. Wesley. It's good. It rolls off the tongue. I like it. Oh my gosh! That's the last time I let anyone decide anything. (laughs) I've sworn (laughs) off that from now on. Picks Wesley Thunderbird. Yeah, you chose us. (laughs) English teacher. How did we get here? I'm in the wrong story. Okay, somehow that happened. It's it's canon now. It's in the wiki, and um, you know that that wiki that exists. Uh, Yeah, chat. Someone in there start making this wiki. Thank you. Yeah, would you would you get on that, please? I think we deserve it. Um, It'd be part of the greater overall Gehenna Gaming streaming wiki. Oh yeah, yeah that that wiki. You know, for when we eventually do. On here a lot, brother Wes. I'm putting you in charge of this. Okay, Brother Wes, you got that? Um, if, if there's no wiki, we can't do eventual crossover games. So, yeah. like, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that Cult and Monster Hearts 2 crossover. <laughs> okay, great. Get, forget the witches. Get, get a coterie up in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we got Tabitha, Ingrid, Cal- Caleb. 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 Donovan. Bridget. Chase. Marissa. Mauricio. Krina. Wolf. Emily. Bex. Milo. Dixie. Xavier. And Corey. This is a great class. I love this class. Oh, boy. Bunch of Zoomers. That's great. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> right? That's right. Zoomer? Is it Zoomer? Is that the current? Yeah. I think yeah, it is. No, no. Zoomers. I think they're Zoomers. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, that's a thing. If, um, if you're a Zoomer and you don't like Zoomer, I'm sorry. Millennials don't like Millennial either. All right. That's all right. Rob's going to look it up later. Um, he'll be fine. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you're like, Zoomer? What? <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. Nice. That's what the kids Listen, are saying. It's, it's, it's okay, <laughs> Boomer Rob. Mm. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Part of the That's because Rob. I knew about the molasses flood of 1919. <laughs> I knew about it too. <laughs> wow! All right, all right. Listen up, Shay. See the Aladdin movie in the in the theater. Was Was Kay even born when Aladdin came out? Nope, not. not. She wasn't. All right, all right. That's anyway. A, that's enough talking about how old Rob is. Okay, <laughs> we all know Rob is very, very old. Obviously, I am much younger, <laughs> as my hair is an unnatural color. So, <laughs> let's go back to the game. <laughs> I'm uh, so much older than 20. What? What? No, sorry. What? Go <laughs> Nothing. on. Nothing. Go Nothing. On. Continuing. So, so Rob many. is an immortal vampire, okay? We've, we've decided this is just his kind of
It's just, it's canon now. It's no! In, it's in the wiki. All right. <laughs> it's in the wiki. It's in the wiki. <laughs> Suspected vampire next to him in parentheses. Oh my gosh. All right. What's going Excuse on? Excuse me, here? I have to uh, change identities. <laughs> la la la. La mask needs to be replaced. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. So you all have been here for at least a year. Uh, you sort of know each other. You sort of know each other. I don't. Obviously, you know each other. There's 12 people in your homeroom. Really good 16. Right. What? Six, one, two, 16. Uh. <laughs> It's been a long time we since fifth grade. <laughs> we should probably I go to math that earlier after didn't English. correct you, Brian. I don't know if that's worse or better. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's not the first time I've, I've said the wrong number of people? Um, there's 16 students. So obviously that's the line, and that's why you don't know each other that well. On my first statement was clearly correct. Um... Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life here on Monday night's Monster Hearts? Uh, thank, you. Our life right now. thank you for joining us. All right, yeah. so, uh, okay, I'm ready now. I'm serious now. Serious face. Drama, drama Game claw. Face. So, we won't do the whole what time do you get into school thing. We're going to start with everyone's uh, managed to get into class, even Corey, um, even Corey. Um, Mauricio dragged him in early. It's, it's the first day of school. It is the very first day of school. It is, in fact, a Tuesday uh, because there is a, a, a Monday uh, teacher's meeting. So they start school on a Tuesday, obviously. Um, this is very important. Is someone taking notes for the wiki? Please uh, don't let me forget this for next time. Because um, it's Tuesday morning. And um, as everyone sort of settles down and mix uh, Wesley Thunderbird, uh, you know, gives a few extra minutes because we want to make sure that everyone is, is actually paying attention. Um, you all had Mix Wesley for English class uh, last year, so you know who, who they are. And uh, they say, all right, settle down, settle down. Uh, we have a few morning announcements. It is the first day of school, so um, we want to welcome you, obviously. Welcome to school again. You did it. Uh, you made it through the summer. Uh, congratulations. I know that must have been really hard for some of you away that long from uh, our shining institution, Gehenna Valley High. Uh, I have some notes here. Uh, one, uh, principal would like you to uh, not slide on the floor today. Uh, yes, they were recently waxed because uh, so it was just summer. Uh, but if you don't slide on them, you probably won't crash into people or objects, and that would be a blast for the school nurse if she didn't have to see all of you in her office. Uh, it is Tuesday, um, and the lunch staff has a very uh, special meal for the first day. Uh, it, we're not doing Taco Tuesday. We don't want you to get sick of it. We're doing Taco Boats today. Very exciting. Um, Taco boats, uh, extra, extra exciting thing. And, uh, of course, um, uh, there are some uh, tryouts later this week already. I know the football team uh, did uh, some summer tryouts, but uh, I apparently on Thursday uh, are the uh, swim team tryouts. If you want to be on the swim team this year, that's uh, Thursday afternoon. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, it. Why don't you uh, talk uh, peacefully, calmly, civilly, if you will, um, to each other uh, until the bell rings. I know you probably have a lot to talk about. And with that, Mix Thunderberg will uh, return to uh, their seat and pull out their, uh, their tablet computer and play Marvel Puzzle Quest, um, as that is a fantastic game that never goes out of style.
not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but we could be, we're we're open to sponsorship. We are uh, we're willing. Um, give me give me some of those special tokens that let me uh, have more characters in my roster. Um, we'll work out a deal. So um, thank you uh, for listening to my morning announcements. Now I will ask my. My, my most asked question, the question that will come up throughout our Mondays, does anybody have something they would like to do during homeroom? And I'm going to say, I'll remind all my players right now, that one, you, the answer does not have to be uh, yes. You can always say no. And it's an extra special reminder right now. Uh, if you do say no, I will, of course, make something happen uh, as we are doing a very special first homeroom. So, anybody have something they really want to do right this second? Yes, uh, Bridget. Uh, I want to turn around to Krina. Yes. Um, and be like, Krina, I didn't see you at any of the parties over the summer. Where were you? You never miss parties. I know, but it's, it's you know, I was, you know, it's summer, and I spent the summers with my, you know, my dad and his family. Oh, where does your dad live? Somewhere cool, I bet. In the fairy world. <laughs> know that all right never before uh, all right we got a timeout uh. we've got a timeout for a second here we have to <laughs> clarify some some background i think um krina um have you been telling people for years now that your dad lives in the fairy world i think it's well known that people like people know that krina says that she's like Partly they. Okay. Yeah, it's just a thing that you say. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I think it's up to each of them individually whether or not they believe her. Yeah. But it's like pretty much the only weird thing she says or does. So. Yeah. So I uh, love it. It's Orlando. Farewell is Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Corey, uh, do you believe uh, that it's uh, really the fairy world? Do you actually think it's Orlando that she's talking about? I don't think Corey actually gives a shit. Corey doesn't care. Great. Yeah, I, I love it. Uh, Wolf, do you think that Krina is a fairy? No. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think Wolf, as a completely normal human being, would just be like, you know, Krina's into something a little weird, but I'm not going to judge her on it. It's fine. She yep. can be into it. Absolutely. Uh, Bridget, do you think that Krina goes to the fairy world every summer? I think Bridget's a little stupid. It is like, is that like a town in Florida? Right. Like on the panhandle? Uh, great. And Krina. You have a great tan. <laughs> I'm pale as pale as pale. Right. <laughs> but it's it's a great tan pale. Yeah. Uh, Krina, do you care if anyone believes you? you? I mean, I think it's kind of weird that they don't believe me. <laughs> yeah. It's literally the only weird thing I say or do. Like everything I do, else I do is pretty normal for a teenage girl. And, and Does Donovan believe it? Don, yeah, I skipped you, Donovan, because you've been there. But um, do you believe? <laughs> <laughs> Before this past summer, Donovan probably just thought she was a little odd, yep. but uh, believes her now, but doesn't express that. Great. Great. So let's jump right back into the scene then. Uh, we'll Right where we left off, Krina says, oh, I've been in the fairy world. I've told you that before. Yeah. Bridget. Oh, oh yeah, I guess I guess so. Um, you clearly didn't get much sun this summer, did you? Oh, no. Yeah, the sun and I, we don't really like get along. You know, I'm like super pale. I've got the freckles. Okay. Yeah. We can't all have a tan as great as yours, Bridget. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, you look That's... super great. Thank you for noticing. I mean, it's hard not to notice you. Yeah. Okay, time out. Uh, would you like to roll hot for me, Karina? Yes, I would. All right. Karina is now uh, rolling 2d6 and adding uh, her hot score. 12. 12. Great. So that's our first roll of our the game. Congratulations. Uh, when you roll in this game and you get a 10 or better, well, congratulations. That's fantastic. A good thing is going to happen and probably not a bad thing, too. Uh, if you roll a 7 to a 9, um, well, then a... <laughs> 
uh, you, you're going to succeed, but uh, something else is going to happen. And if you roll a 6 or lower, well then congratulations, you get XP, you also fail. Uh, so uh, we just did a turn someone on check, you got a 12. So first things first, you get a string on Bridget. Uh, it looked like you may have already noted that down. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic job writing things down. And I will make sure that I keep my thing up to date as well. Also, uh, Bridget, you get a choice from uh -huh. the below list. You can either promise Krina something you think Krina wants, you can get embarrassed and act awkward, or you can give yourself to Krina. Now this is a phrase that's going to come up a few times in this game, audience. And let me tell you something, I don't know what that means, uh, give yourself to Krina. Only uh, the person giving themselves to Krina knows what that means. Uh, in this case, Bridget. Bridget, what would you like to do? I'm going to promise something I think that Krina wants. Excellent. Let's go for it. Back to the scene. Uh, you know, my parents are, my moms are going out of town for some Angora rabbit conference this weekend. Maybe we could throw a party and you could come. I will absolutely be there if you throw a party. Okay. So you're going to throw a party, right? Saturday night. Excellent. Yeah. I'll hold you to it. It immediately, Marissa um, is 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 pulls out a, an agenda book and is writing things down uh, furiously at her desk. Um, now, uh, Wolf, uh, you're of course right there as well. You you hear that? Yes. What, what do you think course. about what about this? What's going on in Wolf's uh, world? Party at Bridget's, right? Yeah. So Saturday. Wolf will kind of will kind of lean uh kind of diagonally forward from his desk and just say, So I'm invited too, right? And I'll he'll give her like a a sweet smile. Oh You'll I, it, right, Bridget? You'll definitely invite Wolf. So I think Wolf wants to roll hot. I think I do want to roll hot. All right, please do. And so I get uh, plus one to this roll because we are entrenched. <laughs> yes. Whether Bridget likes it or not, here we are. Uh, which actually, well, no, just kidding. It helps. I got like a 13. Okay. <laughs> yes. Like a 13 is a fantastic roll. Um, so, of course, uh, you gain a string on Bridget. Good. Good. Which brings us to five. Over five total. Like, wait, we're, we're at like way over five total, aren't we? Yes, yeah, you are. We're at like seven or something. It's yeah. fine. Don't worry. Okay. Um, we'll at, at the beginning of the next episode, we'll explain how to spend strings. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, so, uh, Bridget, would you like to give yourself to Wolf? Promise something Wolf, uh, you think Wolf wants, or get embarrassed and act awkward? I'm going to promise something I think Wolf wants. Great. Say absolutely you can come to the party i would love to have you Perfect. You know where i live of course right yeah of course i mean i just have to you know and then he kind of pauses he <laughs> kind of like looks away and is like well i'll deal with my parents i'll figure it out it's fine but i'll, I'll be there for sure you better wow you better Ooh. he kind of he kind of like glances away like uh kind of sheepishly He's a little embarrassed. When you glance away sheepishly, you notice Donovan is like glancing sideways over your way and just like giving you a what are you thinking look. So Wolf specifically? Yeah. <laughs> Wolf will, will kind of see that expression kind of look confused. He's like, don't judge me. But he, does, he doesn't really understand why you're looking like that. Bridget's yeah. a great great person and then he looks back at his phone <laughs> great does anybody else have something they want to make sure happens during homebrew hi hi Corey. what's up so Corey is going to first and foremost kick his feet on to be back of vex's chair oh great yep uh without any issue and then he's going to take a very large very obvious uh paper airplane and throw it to Krina. Okay, great. Um, 
yeah, I'm just going to let you No, You know what? You know what? There's nothing harder in life than getting a paper airplane to land at the person you want it to land at. So I absolutely, I'm going to need a cold roll Let's to see if you can keep your cool in order to land this plane perfectly. I will be using these beautiful level up dice. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. Not, Not sponsored, but hey, level up dice, sponsor me. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Eight. Eight. Well, eight's not bad. Uh, Thank you, negative one. So, um, you have a choice. All right. Either you can keep your cool, throw the plane, um, and let it land on Tabitha's desk, or you can throw the plane realize that it's totally going in the wrong direction um uh jump up uh slam into emily as you grab the plane ball it up and throw it at krina in order to make sure krina gets the note i'll just let it go to tabitha great so tabitha gets a paper airplane and unfolds it what does it say it literally says uh hey what are you doing after this boring ass class? Um, <laughs> I love that. Um, did you get Karina's attention before you tried to throw it to her, or did you just toss it? Uh, he, he probably just tossed it. I think he just tossed. Yeah, he's being cool. You know, it was super cool. Um, so Tabitha will of course look up and try to see where the paper airplane came from. Uh, Corey, do you make eye contact at all? Yeah, he does, and he also goes like this, like back a few. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and, and Tabitha gets it. This is normal. Obviously, you were trying to get Bridget's attention. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, yes. Let oh, me, Bridget. Because yeah. uh, who else would Tabitha assume? And Tabitha uh, hands the note to Bridget and, and is like, it's from Corey. I open it up. Yep. And I look back at Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Corey is still pointing. <laughs> He points back to us. He's like, nope, one more. It, it torp interpret that how you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just that. It's like back. Uh, I'm going to lean over and whisper to Chase. Yeah. Like, I think Corey is hitting on me. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> That's amazing. Um, And he'll, he'll, he's going to look over to you and he'll be like, why do you say that, bae? He wrote me this note. What's the note say? I show it to him. He looks at it. And he turns around <laughs> to uh, Corey. And uh, he goes, Hey! <laughs> seven names. Not cool. <laughs> Excuse me? It's not cool. You can't just hit on people like that. Oh, no, no, no. One back. Um, will you roll uh, shut someone down, please? Roll cold for me. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any good way for Chase to take this right now. Uh, nine. Nine. Great. Oh, that's fantastic. That's exactly the kind of role I was looking for. Let's see here. Do, 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 Read it to me. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> now, say Chase is trying his hardest out there. It's just, no, it's, <laughs> he's working. He's working at it. Uh, Listen, we're getting him hooked on phonics. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. So uh, Chase uh, it, it is going to misinterpret uh, what what you're saying. Um, uh, Chase thinks uh, that now you're saying that you you would you would never hit on Bridget uh, because like Bridget doesn't deserve to be hit on. Um, Chase is angry. Chase is upset. Um, so uh, <laughs> and. Uh, 
So uh, we did we we did a shut someone down roll. We got a, a medium. So you have a choice here. Uh, uh, because you've you've toyed with Chase's emotions, you can either uh, gain a string on Chase, mm -hmm. or we can give Chase a condition, or you could take one forward uh, against Chase. Uh, but you know that's up to you. You know that's mm. that's a choice you can make. Let's take a string on Chase, boy. Oh right, we're gonna take a string on Chase. And um, Chase and I, we're going to give you a condition in return because you didn't come off uh, clearly. Cle and that clearly that's your fault and not uh, my fault or uh, Chase's fault. Uh, so let's give you a nice condition. Um, oh, are you going to note that down for me, Anonymous? Oh, I, I was going. No, that's cool. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you take care of that for me. Um, let's give you the um, condition of... Target. You feel targeted. Yeah, we're going big. We're just going to set up a nice Monster Hearts Monday, too, next week. Um, and, uh... When I hear that it's for Krina, I ball it up and put it on Krina. Oh, wait, actually, I like Krina. No, I'm going to hand it to Krina. Oh, you hand it to Krina yeah, nicely? I like Krina. That's I'm good. sorry. She, she, she was sweet to me earlier. Chase is going to stand up, of course, and he's going to look at you, Corey, and he's going to give you one of these, and he's going to be like, I'm you're watching you. You're, you. Are you sure? You should really be looking at the board. I feel like you need that. And he will turn around and look at the board. Can but, I kick him? No, you're not close enough to kick him. What? <laughs> Okay, fine. I mean, okay, no, I take that back. No. Would you like to cross across a couple of desks no, and kick I, I Chase? No, I thought he was getting up in my face. Oh, no, he's just standing up. I, I didn't mean to. Okay. I didn't mean to. Uh... <sighs> no, but now I feel bad. I felt like there was a good... you wanted to kick somebody, you know? It's okay. I can kick him later. All right, we'll kick him later. All right, thank you. We've got a little campaign here. We've got I, plenty of chances uh, to kick him. I'm sure. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. So now, uh, Karina, you have a note. Um, theoretically from Corey. Who knows at this point? <laughs> what do you think? What are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I will, un I will, t I will, you know, have unfold it, smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Like, what am I doing after this boring ass class? I, don't I, know. I will just turn to Corey and I'll just like say it across the room to him. Yeah. Like, I guess I'm going to the next class. Do you have plans? Do you <laughs> want to do something fun? Yeah, we could definitely leave. Want to leave here? Cool, yeah, totes, all the time, forever. Okay, uh, so Mix Wesley Thunderberg uh, puts their <laughs> tablet down, um, which is fine because uh, you know Marvel Puzzle Quest it will just wait for you to come back. It's perfectly all right. Uh, sponsor, not sponsored, but it could be, and um, that's our new hashtag. <laughs> and um, we'll stand up and just like sort of like shrug their shoulders and they're like okay so Corey and Krina detention for publicly talking about skipping the next class I don't intend but, but we haven't it was a purely theoretical conversation Mix Thunderbird D Donovan will look up to the teacher and just say free speech you can't tell them what to do or talk about yeah that I may not be your civics teacher, but that's not how free speech works. They're just talking about things. Yeah, it's not an action. It's not. A, it's not a plan. Even it was purely theoretical. Next Thunderbird. Um, I would like uh, Donovan to uh, roll cold against uh, Mix Thunderbird. Let's see if you can sh uh, put Mix Thunderbird in their place. And I'm going to let you add one uh, since Karina is backing you up so firmly. Okay, I rolled two sixes. Get plus on, two no. is 14. Plus one is 15. Take it, Mix Thunderbird. Wow. Yeah. So, like, I'll take a picture you right here. shut down the free speech. No, I love it. I love it. So, America. So, uh, Mix Thunderbird is obviously uh, is being schooled right now and is thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly convinced that uh, they can't actually. Uh, tell you, give you detention for that, and is in clearly in, is uh, impeding on your free speech rights. Um, so, uh, <laughs> would you like to uh, gain a string on the teacher 
or give a, a condition to the teacher? I can actually choose two things. Oh, right! You can! Because I am you cold as move. ice. Yes! And so Donovan just glares down the teacher. I'll take the string and the condition of um, put in your place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, put the teacher in the place. Uh. Teacher, eh? <laughs> and the, te the teacher just sort of like clamps up and says, you know, I think you're correct, and sits back down and pulls books out the table. <laughs> I'm gonna attack this Donovan just at that point. Back to his clothes. Yeah. And be like, that was pretty cool. Should we invite him to the party? Uh, wait, sorry. Who did you text? Marissa. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Donovan oh goes goes right back to his phone. To Marissa, and of course, Marissa um, has yeah. been taking uh, serious notes. Yeah. Uh, but has the phone right there because I mean, come on, um, and we'll very quickly uh, text back. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna yes. be like, I'm gonna kind of gesture like, go on, invite him. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> do you have like an emoji saved on your yeah. phone? So it's like, oh. Continue. All right. So uh, you can see. Uh, Marissa like blushes a little bit if anyone's looking at uh, Marissa and uh, Marissa will sort of like like kind of like tap your elbow Donovan to get your attention Donovan just very slowly rotates yes hey Donovan so uh, Bridget's having a party Saturday night uh, I, yeah I heard it's going to be a, a lot of fun we just, we're, we're hoping you could come Fine. Cool. Yeah. And just goes back to the phone. Pivots right back and <laughs> goes back into his phone. Yep. Oh, zoomers. Does does Krina have Donovan's number? Yes, definitely. So Krina will send a very enthusiastic text to Donovan. Be like, thanks, man. Teachers, so rude. With there's like twelve exclamation points in this text. <laughs> He replies back, totes. 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 Oh my God. Totes. the disdain at using that slang. <laughs> at least he didn't just say, okay, period. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate shutdown. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Um. And, then, and then Frida will also text Cordy and be like, sorry, I forget I'm not supposed to talk because teachers are mean. Uh, he would literally text back and say, I don't actually ever go to detention, so it's not like it would actually matter. <laughs> Krita just responds, you can, like, all cats, you can skip them, period. <laughs> and he just responds back, sure. My I life do. has changed. <laughs> and then he's gonna send back a, a winky kiss emoji, like, I change lives. All right, Corey, uh, roll hot, please. Eleven. Eleven. Wow. All right. I'm taking everyone's dice after this. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, so you gain a string on Krina. And Krina, would you like to give yourself to Corey? Promise Corey something you think Corey wants or get embarrassed and act awkward. Oh. I think that I will choose to give myself and I will respond to that text saying, I just bet you do. And I'll send a photo that I have stored in my phone of myself for just such occasions. Excellent. Hot damn. Corey will. Hot not, damn. A, not a fully explicit photo, but close. Corey will you look good. Definitely save that photo. <laughs> he's, got, he's got folders. Yeah. Okay. Um, We'll say that and uh, say after class, right? Uh, <laughs> Krina, Krina will just send it a winky face emoji. Okay. Not, not agreeing, not promising anything, just a winky face emoji. That's solid. That's solid. 
And he's going to kick his legs up further, so now they're not on the lower part, but they're literally on the top part, probably against Bex's back. All right, so now Bex absolutely has to respond, and uh, Bex is going to uh, turn around, and, uh, and Bex is going to go to very clearly, like, reaches back to shove your feet off the desk. What do you I do? I want to keep my feet there. Like, I want to, like, forcefully keep them there. Great. Uh, I would like you to roll cold, please. Not volatile? No, no, because you're not hurting anyone, and you're not running away. This is you putting someone in their place. You don't have to take my dice, Brian. That's a three that becomes a two. Well, congratulations. You get XP. And you learn something. Yes. Yeah. And I really hope Corey's just gonna get beat up by every job. <laughs> and Bex, uh, of Corey course, does in fact uh, make contact with your legs, um, and and pushes them off uh, the chair, um, which isn't enough to do harm or anything. But we'll uh, look at you and just like like shake his head, like he's just like disgusted, I'm sorry, they, they're disgusted slash disappointed, and Bex says, just go home already. They won't let me. I Does don't... Donovan hear that? Yes, Donovan absolutely hears it. Alright. Yep. Taking notes, taking notes. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. And... And, and <laughs> uh, Bex just says, I don't care. Kick me again, and I will beat Chase to kicking your ass. And, and I'm going to give you a condition because you did fail that role. Um, because you need another condition um, as the only person with a condition thus far. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you're, not only are you a target, obviously you are a target. <laughs> Um, like a target. Right. Uh, um, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you uh, Jocks Hate Me. Because obviously the swim team people are jocks too. That's okay. Because yeah. I'm going to kick him. Yay! Roll volatile, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here we go! I'm going to use a move called The Power Flows Through Me. Mm-hmm. So I can take two on that. Yes, and, and I believe. Do you give the dark power a string when you do that? I do. Amazing, I do. amazing. Ooh, Castile's gonna get a string. Yes. And that will be. No, that does... will be a ten. A ten, great. No, there was a question. I think question. Yes. Like... Does does Wolf see this happening? Oh, I think uh, that was pretty. Uh... I, th I think the altercation, the verbal altercation, would be enough to get your attention if you'd like to turn around. And yeah. Corey, we'll follow that up with, you really think I care what you want. That's cute. So I think as as uh, Corey is kicking mm -hmm. at Bex, yep. I think that at that, Wolf will kind of stand up, not really like, kind of, he'll kind of like lean towards, but not like actually like interact with them mm -hmm. and it'll just be like hey hey guys we like no need to get violent on the first day of school all right well it has already happened so let's pause that thought just i mean what a cool speech to give no need to get more <laughs> violent right. i would love to have donovan slowly pivoting and starting his phone to record <laughs> so yes. i'm going to first of all i'm going to give um a harm to uh, bex and I will now remind the players and the audience that just because the PCs have four hit points does not mean that uh, our our NPCs have four hit points. And you kick Bex, and it obviously uh, hurts a great deal. Um, and um, you can see um, Bex like like Bex winces and like holds in the pain, but like has got to sit. Down. I mean, oh, they were already sitting, but it, it like sort of like grabs their leg and is is hugging it, um, and and you say you're cool. I don't care if you don't care. Line, uh, which was very cool. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, and Wolf uh, stands up and says, "Hey, we don't need to fight on the first day," which is uh, not as cool. And <laughs> no. Um, uh, 
Donovan starts recording. Um, but, um, and of course, the teacher missed the whole thing. And I think that's when the bell rings. Because uh, that's a great place to end. You know, Wolf goes to stop uh, when it started, and the bell uh, really ends it for us. Uh, so please join us next week, uh, Monday nights, at this channel, 7.30 uh, Eastern Time, uh, p.m., uh, it'll be great, and we'll find out, uh, one, how strings work, two, um, uh, how injured is Bex, and three, what is in my water bottle. Um, for those of you who were betting at home, Tony didn't knock anything over. Uh, that's, uh, Tony did not knock anything at all He got all really over. close to that Swiffer, though. He did. He was thinking about it, and now he seems <laughs> to be interested in this paw and the light switch. So, I love everyone <laughs> for coming. Uh, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Brian. Yes. Thank, thank you, you for running thank for us. Thank you, everybody. I'm so excited. So excited yes. for next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. we'll be here every Monday, and I'm now going to, to the overlay correctly in the right order. Have a good night, everybody. And make sure Bye -bye. you mute us.